Yes, yes, people, we are back live. We are back live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube for another Sarcasm City Sports Q&A. For those that haven't seen the Sarcasm City Sports Q&As before, it's where we answer sporting questions from the chat people. So get your questions in. If you are a member of the channel, your question takes priority like a super chat. So super chats, members' questions take priority. I will start your question if it's one of those two things and I will get to it, people, without doubt. But make sure you run up the likes. Big up to everyone who's just joined over from the Raid on Saeed's channel. Hit the like button on the video. Please make sure you share this across all of the socials as well. Follow me at That's Me Flawless on Twitter and Instagram or X and Instagram at Sarcasm City TV as well. Make sure you follow across all platforms and subscribe right here to the channel. Notification bells on as well. Manchester City versus Arsenal ends in a stalemate. Boring ass game. Defences on top. Um, is it advantage Liverpool in the title race? I'm sure there'll be questions on Manchester United as well. I'm sure there'll be other questions. And that we are currently live on the playback as well. The gang gang fats Eddie are over there watching the Lakers versus the Nets and they will be watching the Rockets versus the Mavericks as well. But get your questions in, people. Steve's in the building also. Yes, yeah, Steve, what are you telling me? You good? Yo, um, mixed bag in it. A mixed bag <laughs> talk, for talk my to teams talk, around man. Europe. Byron are trash. <laughs> Byron are garbage. Um, that was the negative of the weekend, but there we go. Castle getting a win. We, we, we are that. I don't know if you watched the game or not. I didn't watch the I game, but I seen the highlights. I didn't watch it live. I don't know if you've gotten this vibe from Newcastle this season, and I don't know how well you remember Eddie Howe at Bournemouth, but we are basically a black and white Bournemouth on steroids. We can attack, <laughs> we can attack. There's never been. I've been on how many Q&As? I've been on how many shows with you? I've said this how many X amount of times? I mm -hmm. rarely complain about our attack. Mm -hmm. Outside of Almiron. Mm -hmm. Even Jacob Murphy produces under Eddie Howe. Isak mm -hmm. produces under Eddie Howe. Mm -hmm. Harvey Barnes, when he's fit, produces what he did on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I've never been – I've never complained about our attack. Defensively, mm -hmm. though, that was our staple of last season predominantly. That's just gone. That's just gone. That's... So now what we are, we are a black and white Bournemouth on steroids. So, and okay, all right. Go and on, that's for on. my fan base to decide whether that's going to win us titles or not. I tend to say probably not. Oh, probably not. You mean cups? Cups, titles, anything. Mm. Are we going to get over that's... the line? I don't think yeah. we are. And but Steve, could you that's... do yeah, go on, carry on, carry on. Sorry, no, go on, carry on. That, that, so that's just that's just where I'm at with Newcastle at the moment. We're fun to watch. We are good. Mm -hmm. We are good to watch, but we can't defend mm -hmm. at all. Did you see the mm -hmm. third goal we conceded against West Ham after two minutes in the yes. first half? Who was defending for us? Yeah. Where were they? Mm -hmm. We're supposed to have center backs on the pitch for a reason. Emil Kraft is nowhere near, and Jared Bowen, he 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 walks into the club without ID, and he scores easy. He was just allowed to. So that he and that's what happened with Bournemouth. They would concede some I'm nonsense. Still... <laughs> I said he walks into the club without ID. De Niro, I've got you. Ryan, I've got you as yeah. well. I'm sending the link over. Carry on, carry on. But yeah, so that's what that's what it is with Newcastle. Lazio they actually look a lot better under Igor Tudor. And we beat Juve one nothing, and officially Juve are a finished entity, a completely finished entity as we know it under Max Allegri. He's making Chiesa and Vlaovic. Superstar players, very good players, look bang average. So that's just crazy. And uh, you know, Strasbourg getting a getting a big win today against Stad Red. Um, yeah, but like in regards to the big game in the Prem today, I'm very impressed with Arsenal defensively once again. I gotta mm -hmm. say, once again, they are a legit team defensively. That's also why I think Bayern were completely fucked. We might not score in two in two games against them. Mm. That is not out of the realm of possibility. And then do I think they're going to score against us in one of the two legs? I think in both of them, they'll get at least one. So we're 2-0 down already in my mind. And Harry mm. Kane, dude, missing a wide-open header against Borussia Dortmund when it's 0-0. Oh, but he's got 37 goals or whatever. Nobody cares, bro. This guy is never going to win a fucking thing in his life. It's like a 50-year-old woman trying to get pregnant. It's over, bro. Damn. 
It's uh, over. You this can't is, be, is, you cannot be 30 years old, as good as he is, and not have a trophy on your resume. Damn. You hey, can't before oh, you continue. Not, to, before you continue. Hold up, just well. Hey, there's over 110 people here. I'm only at 100. Wait, 18 likes. Hey, let's run up the likes, people. Like check one, two, one, two. We need to be getting up to 50 likes. Mods, please get everybody liking the video. Hit the like button expeditiously. De Niro, I've sent you the link as well. You lot get your questions in. Hit the subscribe button. Clearly, Steve's got a lot to get off his chest, and we will get to all of that as well. Mm -hmm. Let me just say big ups to people in the chat. Sheik, I see you. Big up Barrio Malatelli. Gaming for, uh, Gaming for Life. He says, big up Flawless. What did you think of the City game? I think Arsenal could have won. I think a draw was a fair result. That's what I would say. I think a draw was a fair result in that game. Both teams defensively on point. Offensively, both horrendous. From an individual standpoint and as a unit, both I expected more from attacking units. Obviously, much more from yeah. cities. One, because it's the better unit. And secondly, they're at home. Super disappointed in yeah. Haaland, De Bruyne, Foden, Bernardo, Silva. I'm expecting so much more from them. Arsenal Sorry. didn't do it. Havertz, Jesus, Odegaard. I'm looking for Saka. I'm looking for more from, from you lot. Like that, that's what I would say. So, yeah, my guards, my guards, my guards. He just wasn't good, but I have to give credit to both teams defensively. That's that's yeah. what I would say. Big up to Jamie as well, and big up to uh, James Arsenal FC Lee as well. But yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on the nil nil. What are you saying? What's your thoughts on the nil nil? It's, it's you know the top six games this year, particularly between like the Arsenal, City, Liverpool. Like they haven't been what they were hyped up to be. That's why I wasn't like, oh my god. I'm looking forward to do people. There's a reason why I did the Strasbourg. That's why I ran the Strasbourg Stad Rene watch along on my channel. Cause I was debating it. Cause I'm like, in terms of views, I don't really care about that. But like, I, th there was a reason though why I, why I did that. Cause I was like, I'm not really going to be paying that much attention to the game. Cause I wasn't like hyped, hyped, hyped about it. Like everybody else was. Cause I was like, they could just cancel each other out. I, I, I was like, it's, it's, it, I knew it was going to be a hella competitive game. And it was. It was. But there was just no separation. It was like it was like one of those big boxing fights, UFC, where the two guys are. It's a lot of standing and it's a lot of. It was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. Of, there wasn't a lot of punches thrown. It wasn't. Just yeah, mentioned it. Just, risk taking. There wasn't many. There wasn't many risks. There wasn't a lot of risk yeah. taking in the game. Big up to Jez in the cut as well. Yes, Jez. What are you saying, family? Oh, I'm a good man. I'm a good man. Hey, W's in the ch shot, people. W's in the shot. Dom and, Dom and win, I take it. Yeah, obviously Dortmund too, but obviously uh, Dortmund's the bigger win. No, Dortmund. And, and you know the crazy thing is Dortmund deserved that win and probably more. Y'all have Dortmund have an exceptionally good chance against Atletico Madrid. An exceptionally good chance. I, mean, I, I, I did, I did say that. It's a sneaky chance of getting to a final. Of the champions, I did, I did, I did say for me, I think semis personally, but I did say it's not as um because it's even Atletico, they're not even playing to the levels that I think people saw them prior to like January or going towards January, so they're not unbeatable. Like I said, if we if we if we on um if we on job, we could beat Atletico. I don't see oh, the lineup from the is actually spot on. Yeah, and they execute. They executed yeah. Mechia, yeah. bro. Julian Brandt, yes. left, right, drive with the ball, drive, drive, drive. Sancho, yeah. out inside, out, inside, out. That's probably that's probably the good thing. And then, and then it was Eddie Emmy, Roadrunner, Vume. Like, Kimmich yeah, actually played well in that game. Eddie Emmy still scored eight minutes into the fucking game. Like, y'all executed like, me, a game me, me, plan extremely me, well. And Hummels. Yeah, for me. yeah, yeah Hummels, Hummels was on. Man on match. Almost wasn't like let's say everybody, Matson as well, everybody Ryerson, everybody wasn't job. Like I said, I think we can beat Atletico. Everybody's on job. And I think the good mm -hmm. thing is that everybody's actually playing well now. Like Sancho's playing well. The second Matson leg is, is playing well. The midfield's playing well. So yeah, man. I'm a fuck with what I'm, what's going on right now. Wow. Yeah, big up, welcome De Niro. For those that haven't seen De Niro, he's been on fan calling shows before. You'll see him at, at some point here on a regular basis, but here on the QA. What are you saying, old fam? You bless yeah? Um, yeah. Good man, good. You get me? We got for everybody, but <laughs> my Sean Dash, our tet of families, man. We got all you. <laughs> Why are you always hating on Sean Dash, man? I don't like this Sean Dash hate, man. What's wrong with you? Oh, you <laughs> that is a cold manager, man. You get me? Yeah, bro. Man. Our tet and I was wrong, man. They're both twins now. 
twins now from uh, see, yeah 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 true say like like the the tweets were saying when when them man do it it's negative football you know what i'm saying but when when Arteta does it, it's the best team out of possession in the world, but we move. But the game in for life, he says, Flawless, you think Luton Town will give Arsenal a good game? And, and cause now nah, they won't. They're they going to move to no, I, 100%. No, and I'm actually going to, I'm going to, and this isn't just me loving on Luton. I'm, and I'm, I'm actually going to say something that you'd agree with us. You know why yeah. Luton will give them somewhat of a game? I'm here for this going. They take, me, ri- with this. they take risks. True. They take they risks. They do. If you do take, take risks, risk, risk, which Luton do to mm-hmm. their detriment sometimes, but sometimes they, they get goals out of it. So, yes, they can. I'm, I'm with you. That. That's what I you just see. don't see them. Right, right. Yeah, I, I hear you, but they just don't have the quality. I don't see them right. winning the game, but do I see them taking risks? Because they don't – That nobody yeah. favors them. They have nothing to lose. Yeah, they'll no score. They'll take, they they'll take score. risks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's why I think, yeah, they could give them a game. Of course, at the Emirates, though, at the Emirates, yes, at the Emirates, they gave yes. Tottenham a game. I hope, yeah, I hope you're right. That's, that's, listen, and I'm not saying that's, Tottenham are at Arsenal. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was about to I'm say. Not, I'm not, I'm definitely, I'm definitely not saying Arsenal, uh, Tottenham are at Arsenal level. Mm. I'm just saying, away from home, they gave Liverpool a, a very a, a decent game for about 60 minutes. At I Anfield. hope, yeah, hey, I'm, I'm with you. I would love nothing more than Luton to get something at the Emirates. I just can't see I'm not it, saying, and I'm not saying right. they will, and I'm not saying mm. they will. But what I'm saying mm. is, Luton Town will take risks, they will throw bodies mm-hmm. forward, mm. they will take shots on, they will cross mm. the ball into the box for Morris or whoever. You know, yeah. Bene has pace to offer on the right, like they will give Arsenal a game for at least a half. After the game, yeah, well, I, I, I hear you, man. I'm with you on that. I, I think they will. I think Ryan's in the building. Yo, Ryan, if you're in the private chat, I mean, if you're there, right in the private chat, if you're there, I don't even know if he's there. Flawless, would you rather have Liverpool winning the Premier League or Arsenal winning the Premier League? Neither. So I will continue to answer that question. Neither. <laughs> like, I lose either way. I, I, I lose either way. There is nothing. Yeah, man. We got a welcome to the show. My like Ryan in the building. Let's go. By the way, can I just are. say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today, both of them. All right, big up the panel. I told as for. <laughs> what are you saying, Ryan? You good family? Chat to me. What are you saying? I can't blessed. believe you, man, are going over. By the way, can I just are. say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today, both of them. All right, okay. big up the panel. I told as for <laughs> Yeah, literally froze. Yeah, froze like a statue. We're just like <laughs> but Ryan's in the court anyway, people. Yes, Ryan. Uh, good to have you here, little bro, man. Large of everyone. Oh, that's his intro now, Warrior J. 100 percent He say anything. That's getting run. I've been running that like since. You get what I'm saying? Oh, I love it. It's great. It's beautiful. But you like running and run up run the <laughs> You not, get your, <laughs> you, you not get your questions in. Hit the subscribe button as well. If you do, it was nice. Then I would just wouldn't play it with this guy He's chatting shit in the private chat. So it's like, all right, let's go run. Let's see what else you lot are saying. Yeah, questions, people. So this show doesn't turn into complete anarchy as well. Again, run up the likes. The saying, Steve, you're close. How far are you away from 1K? I think 13, 14. Yo, go subscribe. There's over 100 of you. Like, go subscribe to Steve's channel right now, man, and get him to 1K because he deserves that. He'll be bringing you content from all over Europe as well. Game of Life says, Steve, a question for you. How wow. do you think Newcastle will finish the season? And do you think they've had an OK season or not? Season's been, I don't even know. I don't, it, It's been a Newcastle season. It's been a Newcastle season. Up, down, and everywhere in between, bro. Like, um, we're still somehow eighth, which speaks to the quality and consistency of the other teams in the league, not named Arsenal, Liverpool, and, and, and Manchester City. It speaks to their quality and consistency, really. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, the injuries are a tough blow because it's everybody, everywhere, anytime. Like, mm-hmm. we had two substitutes come on, two su- and then they cut subs off with hamstrings. Lascelles is out. For nine months, that's tough. That's tough to deal with. I I, I understand. Big up Rance as well. Like, sure, um, Rance every single time. The problem man. is, is he's 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 bringing guys back from injury straight away. So some of this is his fault as to why some of them are getting injured. But you know why I can have at least somewhat bit of optimism because we can score goals for fun. We've scored as many goals as Manchester City have. I'm gonna say really? that again. Castle United have scored 63 goals in the league. Manchester City have scored 63 goals in the league. 
Because you lot do attack. You lot do attack well. You do attack very well. Yeah. Like the way you attack. And I rate Isak yeah. highly as well. I think Isak, he's Arns. I think he's probably quality. Yeah. Anthony Gordon's had a great season. And he scores mm. against those big six teams. So mm. we have, we our offense is prolific, man. We can attack. We get My goals. Question, where do you think it's going wrong, Steve? Defensively. It's, 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 it's completely pathetic and it's atrocious. It's well, awful, bro. And that's because, yeah, because of some personnel things, but we're bringing guys back from injuries before they should be. So then Botman was playing for apparently a month on a bad leg, a month. And now he's gone under the, he's gone for surgery. Mm. He's out for nine months, possibly. Crazy. Same with the cells, with the ACL. So that kind of stuff, you know, Jacob Murphy against Borussia Dortmund brought him on for, for a few minutes, he got injured the previous game. Up with, with the with the shoulder tweak, he got on. He got subbed off after five or ten minutes because he was oh, injured again. It's yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know that the 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 way we've mm -hmm. handled um the way yeah the way we've handled Botman, you know Anthony Gordon, we snapped his fucking leg in the Chelsea game. Like you remember that physio shot? It was it was like what are we doing here? Uh, so okay. it's, it's got to be there's it's got to be the injuries are also on the training staff and, and the manager as well. But we still attack well mm -hmm. and we still have Gordon fit and Barnes fit and Isak fit and Murphy is a better option on the right. So I have a chance, but midfield offers nothing with long staff in it. It's like playing a man down. Uh, it's a McTominay without the goals. Um, and that's really bad because that's all McTominay does. And Dan Burns not a left back, and and Livermento's injured. So that's 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 tough. It's tough out here on these streets. But guess what? We'll continue to score goals at a crazy rate. We will, as long as Isak is fit. You know, praise the Lord. But. Well, I hear that. I hear That's that. So Let me just get to something in the chat as well. One second. Just hold up. To Fede, you says, first time here. Big up the panel and Flawless. Would love to get on one day. Big up to you. It's always good to have new okay. people in the chat. I fan calling shows, Freddy. So I run him. I'm running it tomorrow. But I run it every Monday, 4.30 p.m. UK time. So every Monday. And that's to anyone as well. Open. Doesn't matter who you support. Doesn't matter if it's your first time here or you're a regular. Mm -hmm. Feel free to call in. I run it for at least a couple of hours. So feel free. To call into that and that'll be live tomorrow as well. Yo, Ryan, you there? Yeah. Yo, stars are aligning for you, like it seems. Couldn't have went better. <laughs> Liverpool win. Draw, stalemate. You think you're favourites now for the league title? Yeah, I, th I think we are, personally. Talk I, th about I think we're favourites. Um, you know, you've got, you know, Hassam trying to act like the underdog, you know, no, to he avoid believes. a cook. He believes it. To avoid a cooking if we don't win it. But let's be real. This is the way I see it. If we don't win it, we bottled it. That's literally the way I, I see it. And people might think I'm overreacting. I'm like... That's harsh, but I like it. <laughs> no, we definitely do. But I'm carry like, on. We're going to let you land. Go on. But I'm like, we're two points clear of right. Arsenal. Oh. Of Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Who we have an easier run in than, in my opinion. For me, we've got an easier run of fixtures than Arsenal for the rest of the season. And we're two points <laughs> ahead of them. Yeah. And yet, I think City's running is slightly easier than ours. But we've Agreed. got a three-point advantage on them. A three that's significant yeah. with nine games to go at the end of the day. Yeah. So I think bottled is too tough, but carry him. Carry him. I, that's what I'm saying too, yeah. But carry I on. Just go, think, go on, go on, I want to hear this. I just expect us to win the league. Like I'd be fuming if we don't win the league from this position because I look at our fixtures, I look at the position we're in, I look at the fact we're gonna get players back from injury as well. So I mean theoretically, we should actually be getting stronger because we've still got the likes of Allison to come back, Trent to come mm -hmm. back. Jota to come back. Jones is back next game. We've mm -hmm. still got players to bring back. For me, we should be winning this league now, innit? For me, I'm not I'm not on this. I'm playing under... Like, some of our fans are still playing the undercard um, thing mm. at the end of the day. For the me, I think we're favourites. And for me, I think we should be winning it, innit? And if we don't win it, it's on us, in my opinion, now. Well, so I actually don't think... I actually don't... Uh, yeah, before you go, I actually think Sam isn't... And this is me defending the sub. I don't think he's playing the underdog tag. He, he actually is, made valid points. He's 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 not like this is a man who's shaved his head bald on on live stream. He don't care about being cooked like that. Yeah, like, for real. But go on, go on, Jess. Why aren't you the same guy that literally less than a week ago was talking about? <laughs> I, 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 I'm I'm confused now. Obviously. I don't think it's even been the week since you said that Arsenal are the favorites to win this. Oh, look, and, and literally, didn't we have a debate on here? Literally, not, like it's probably within a week that we had a debate talking about why doesn't Arsenal deserve respect and why they deserve to or why they deserve only winning the league. I need I need an explanation. How did it go from 
Arsenal. We need to respect we need Arsenal more. more. We, need, we need to respect Arsenal more. And Arsenal <laughs> going to win the league. Will Liverpool winning the league? No, because you're two points up. No, 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 Jazz no, just okay. you, can't, you can't call, you can't call some saying this whole underdog story saying Arsenal deserve more respect to all of the sudden. Ah, we win in this league and it's unacceptable if we don't win it. Like, you can't just do the switch like that. Oh, I'm my God, yeah, it's Jess. Ryan's world. We're just living in it, Jazz. Come on, man. I'm not even gonna yeah. lie, you know, I'll even be real with you, Ryan. I'm not gonna lie. There was a point as well, there was a point earlier on, like earlier on in the season when I used to come on here. And you said something similar as well around that time. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but back then I didn't think we could win the league. I'll yeah, be honest. I was doing the same thing as the Sam first half the season. Where okay, like, what was it? Okay, then. So what was the switch that made you go Liverpool now can win the league? The what was the result? Kept winning. The fact we just okay. kept on. The fact we just kept on staying up there. In my opinion, like you know, sometimes yeah, you hmm. can. Maybe by December or half a season through, you can be top of the league, but you know you're not going to win it because you know it's not sustainable across the whole season. And I thought that. But when you just keep on winning and by the time you're, you know, you're still top of the league in like March, April, yeah. all of a sudden you've got to look at that and think, this isn't a fluke. We're actually there Definitely for not. a reason at the end of the day. We're actually there yes. because we deserve to be there. See, when no, but this is why I don't get got up there after 20-odd games... There's something in that at the end of the day. Whereas, where okay. if you top of the league after like I don't know, twelve to fifteen games. Yeah. So it's the it's the length you, of it's the it's yeah, the the it, length of the season is gonna where you find yourself in full. I fully hear that, but my yeah. standpoint has been the same on you lot from the start of the season. I think you're the second best team in the league, and you lot will finish nah, second. No, nah, but I feel, I, feel, I call what? BS on this because he told us literally what? last week that Arsenal are favourites to win the league. <laughs> he did. That's what I'm saying. Don't, don't, don't give me this whole thing. <laughs> about, uh, because he kept on winning <laughs> and we did this and more we did. Arsenal are favourites to win the you're league. Li you literally said last week, you said we need to respect them. They're probably going to win the league. You were saying all that stuff No, I said week. Arsenal deserve respect, more respect. I never said they're going to win the league. Respect for Respect for what? Finish the team. That is true. What do they deserve respect for? Like, respect, respect for what? That's respect a good question. I think they're, they're, I think I mean, it's not like you say. You, 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 like, last week, you went, you went out here last Mom. week talking about ah, it's a, it's a disgrace if you don't win yes, the league. Find, you the, find the stream where I said Arsenal are favourites and going to wait. No, no, wait. Where I said Arsenal are favourites? No, you, you. That it wasn't last week, but you said that a couple weeks ago. It wasn't a stream, but you said that. It wasn't. even. I said Arsenal are going to win the league out of emotion after they beat Emotion Emotion I was pissed off that they'd won last minute against Brentford. That I was like, fuck's sake. Like, at, least, at least, literally, <laughs> literally, a couple of days ago, you said that. Get the better no, no, that like, literally, a couple of days ago, you were praying on Alonso Stoneford now because he, he didn't want to go into Liverpool now. <laughs> Fucking hell, bro. Like, tough and up. Now, and then there Anyways, you go. Some, and, you know what, and, you know what, and you know what fucking yeah. happens? And what? you know what fucking happens when Ryan starts slobbing on Byron's knob? We fucking lose for Dortmund <laughs> in the league for the first time in fucking a decade. So thanks, Ryan, for that. I'm Ryan, really I'm, not oh, I'm not letting this slip. I'm not letting this slip. Go on, let, let, let me go on, down, wait, wait, go on. Let the narrow go. Go on, need, the narrow. I need, say I need to say. hear this. You, yeah, you're yeah. trying to divert from what I'm asking. <laughs> what, what do Arsenal need respect for? Please tell me. I just think people still kind of underrate them and doubt them as a team. The fact is, yeah, they are playing very, very, very well at the end of the day. They're a very yeah. strong unit. And I don't think people... I think people... Fine, I'm still finding too much reason to crash at them on times. I know they need to win something. Don't get me wrong, I'm fully aware they need to win something, but that doesn't mean they're not a very good team at the end of the day. But the they're is, they're up think... there competing because they're a very good team, and I do think people don't I, I probably don't give think, them respect give for them the way the they're playing they enough, in my opinion. People give them the respect they deserve, but one thing we're not going to do is overgas them with the teams that they beat. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. It's the teams that you've beat. Whether you, yeah, you, mm -hmm. whatever game comes towards you, you have to face the game you're playing. But I just think it's based on the fact of the teams they've beaten. None of the teams that they've beaten really in this run, apart from you guys, to me makes me think, yeah, like these lot are they're, they're no, cooking. Still, to, to win, to win, however many away games, like five nil. Mm -hmm. six, and yeah, and, five, and the thing is, they've done well. But you want us to give them, you want us to give them the, the crown, and they've done nothing to deserve the crown. They, you know when they because Rance has said it there, they'll get respect when they win. That's what it is with Arsenal. All the doubts that people have, forget all of this. Oh, I want plaudits before I finish the race. No, no, no. Yo, make the ribbon tear and be the first to make the ribbon tear. 
And then guess what you'll get? All the plaudits in the world. Me, I've said this about Arsenal. Same way I've said it about Liverpool. Same way I say it about Manchester City. As much as I run jokes and bants and all of those things, if you win the league, I will give you full credit. I will give, let's say it's Arsenal. I will give, I will say, I was wrong. I did not see Arteta doing this. I will praise the players, whoever it is who helps them get over there. Hey, Rice, props to you. Because you've been a difference maker in this. Saliba Gabriel, same. Sako, if he if he carries on scoring, etc. Same with Odegaard, Havertz, the whole nine. You get the plaudits when you win. None of this runners up stuff or come finishing third or just being in a good position and then just being in a good position in the league. Arsenal are a very good side. I don't think anyone ever disputes that. Win something. You don't think they're going to win it. None of us here think Arsenal are going to win the league. Why is that? Because they're not as good, because they're not as good as their fans make out. That's why rival fans don't believe. There's only Arsenal fans who believe Arsenal are going to win the league and you when you've said it. I've not heard it. Manchester United fan, a Liverpool fan, a Chelsea fan, a Spurs fan, Steve who is here who supports Newcastle, nobody in the chat who supports other Premier League sides go Arsenal will win the league. Why is it Liverpool and City? Why when you ask people, it's always those two teams? Because Arsenal is just not that good now. They could prove everybody wrong. And then everybody shuts up. And then guess what happens if we're here next season and Arsenal in the title race? People for go. Example, for, for people, example, before you go, I, Steve, people go, well, Arsenal did it last season, so they're good enough to do it this season. Arteta is good enough. The players are good enough. But, anything, when they, but when they fall short, which I inevitably, inevitably think they will, we'll be here having the same conversation. I have the same conversation on repeat, and Arsenal fans don't like me for this. I have the same conversation over and over again. Arsenal are playing well. Arsenal are a very good side. Arsenal fans say they're going to win it all. I say, no, you're not going to win anything. Arsenal fans criticise me for saying Arsenal are going to win nothing. Then Arsenal win nothing. And then we repeat the same thing. This happened last season. Even when I said Arsenal, because of points, were favourites for the league title, which at one point they were, no, they I still said I doubt it. it. No, no, no. Season. Not about winning it, but I'm saying even when they're favourites, and I said Arsenal are currently favourites, but do I think they'll win it? No. Why are you just hating and did a da and this? All right, bet. And what happened? They just want to blame Holden. So what happens oh, yeah, if Saliba gets injured this season? Massively. Yeah, I know they did. If you need whole, if you need Saliba to get past West Ham at home, and who else did they draw to? They drew Southampton, Southampton at home, yeah, West Ham away. So I'm saying like Saka didn't miss a penalty. I won the look. One nil nil. But we just gone bypass. No, that. Two, no, I think it was two you know one. They were two one up, and he would have no, two one up. One up so, yeah, so yeah, so he missed a two one up. Like we need to act like these things. You lot played Southampton, who were a Championship side, and drew three up. At home, where's that? Where, where's they conceded the goal to Southampton in the first fucking minute of the yeah, game? Like, come on, man, there's the other Emirates. games. Like, yeah, that's just legit. It. Like, in, in regards to it, so that's where the Chris, cri the criticism from me personally comes. The reason why I'm so highly critical of teams at the top because when you actually win major stuff, you get the honors and all the plaudits. That's why. That's just me, like Ryan, 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 for example. And I've, and I've said this before about Atalanta, your next opponents in, in the uh, Europa League. You think you'll beat them. You're talking to me on DMs on the Shameless group chat. We're, oh, we're going to play Leverkusen in the finals, the quarterfinals. Well, why don't you respect Atalanta? They're a really good team. You know why you sitting, don't? Because they haven't won league, Copa though, Italia. They haven't won Serie A. So to you, why? Do, so, aren't, aren't they sick? Aren't Atalanta sixth in their league, though? No, they're now fifth, but. Fifth. Right. It's not like it's not like third through seventh and eighth actually is separated by like seven points maybe. It's nice. tight in there. I thought lots of good finish. Four and step. big up to Rance in the chat who says he's spot on. If Liverpool don't win the league from this position and with these fixtures, then they don't deserve it. And that's yeah. the crazy part is I don't think they will. Because I think they'll drop yeah. points at Old Trafford or Goodison or both. I think I think next week's our biggest game. It, I think it'd be next, both I, or both. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm you know I'm. Assuming we beat Sheffield United, which we will, let's be real. Yeah, but I like, think you'll beat um, Sheffield United. Yes, but like, I think you'll beat Sheffield next United. week's our big one in terms of. I just feel if we were to win next weekend, which I actually think we will, that would be our our, our kind of statement win. I know United oh are trash in it. Yeah, of course, it's definitely a statement. Do you, you know, like that time you man John O'Shea scored that last minute at our place. Oh yeah, beautiful. And even though you I were a miles better team than us, that was still your statement win to win the title, wasn't it? I feel yeah, like next week. next week, if we won, it would be the same for us in a way. It would be that win where you're like, man, that was a that was a big, big one. Do you get what I mean? That was one where mm. it will give us so even more confidence going away to the biggest rivals who will be up, massively up for it. The fans will be up for it. The stadium's going to be hostile. So players will be up for it to try and stop us winning the league. And we get a win there. 
that would be a massive one in my opinion. Even more than winning the Merseyside derby as well, just because United's the bigger game. Um, no, I, I do think we'll win as well. I think it'll be. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it'll be tough, but the fact is, we should have won that FA Cup game. We lo- we deservedly lost it because we we shot ourselves in the foot. We didn't kill you. We had the game in our hands, and we didn't kill you off when we had the chance. We we were out. We outplayed you second half comfortably. We just didn't kill you off. And when you're only two one up, the opposition's always got a chance of getting back in the game. So, but I I just think we'll have learned our lessons for next weekend, and I don't think we'll get complacent like we did in the FA Cup game. So, I think we'll, we'll win next weekend. But no, so. I agree with you in regards to it. I regards in regards to it being a statement when if you do win, I agree. Well, oh yeah, yeah, it was complacency all over from your man. Big up Taz are in the cut as well. Taz, from are you the there? players and manager. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Big up to Taz, who is there. Hey, big up Connor as well. Big up to Sunshine saying hit that like button as well. Connor saying, hey, Ryan, you're famous. Don't go, please. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are. That's the other clip. Hey, man, Ryan, you famous out I feel, here. I, you He's know what? I feel like street. the oh yeah high thing is the worst one. No, yeah. actually, when yeah. I think about it, 16 out of 10 is the worst one. <clears throat> when I think about it. Hey. <laughs> I rated it 16 out of 10, man. Though. Yeah, hey, the 16 out of 10 clip is legendary. 16 out of 10 is way worse. It's the worst one because I, I had full control over that. And yeah, you had full control it. over the ooh hi? Nah, you know the ooh yeah hi oh, thing? Yeah. I didn't even realize I'd done it until I'd actually done it. The 16 out of 10 one, I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Yeah, we don't. 16 out of 10, I knew what I was doing. Like, Jen, if you actually watch the all, if you watch the all yeah high thing, watch my face just after I've said it. I've just realized what I said. You fucked it. That, that yeah. is, that's that, that right there. That, yeah. that right there is worse composed composure in the final. It was bad composure. That's why the yeah. 16 out of 10 thing was worse. It's hilarious. I hey, I Warrior doing. Jay, write the question again. I got you, Warrior Jay. Write again. I will do. I think I started, but write again just in case. You lot continue to get your questions in, members in particular. Link for the membership is in the pinned comment. If you are a member, I'll start your question. I'll get to it. Uh, big up to Mario Georgia yeah, for the super chat. Says if Liverpool beat United, Everton is in the bag. That's the thing is, I don't think that Liverpool win both those games. I think that's where they fall short. What if we do like, win both those? Then you'll probably win the league. No, but then again, you've still got... Like I know it's Fulham, but what happened when you played Fulham this year? I just think they're the two. I just I just think that I think they're I think they're the two. And the thing is, they've been in this situation where I can't remember what season it was. It was, it was 18, one of the recent ones. Clock played, played draws in both games. and got nil, you played, nil, and, we and they were back to back, right? So the first one was all traffic, and the second one was good. United so was, was it was two games later. I think Ever, United mm-hmm. one was first, and we drew mm-hmm. nil nil. Mm-hmm. And Klopp never went for the win, and then. Two, I think it was like two weeks later we drew the Everton game, and again it was similar kind of thing. Um, I think Klopp made a mistake though those times because he thought they knew he knew they'd be tough games in going away there, and he thought that getting draws in those games would be enough because I did I think he thought with nine games it was nine games left actually as well that City wouldn't win all their games, and they did. Mm-hmm. So he made a mistake. I don't think he makes the same mistake this time. Like he'll no, go. For I it think he'll go for it, hundred percent. But I just don't see them winning just, both I, games. Trust me, but, I remember those games. We'll like he did not go for the wins because one, one he blamed the win, right? I remember. No, it wasn't that game. He blamed. Was it not that game? He blamed the win ever. Or was he it blamed, Leicester? No, he might okay. have done it against Everton. He blamed the yeah. rain or something against Ever against Leicester United. I think United. I think he he made some dumb excuse for the United one. I, I remember. Oh no, I remember. I remember the excuse he made for United. It was so bad. Um, you know, you man got like three injuries first half or something. Yeah, I remember. Make... Yeah. And Klopp mm-hmm. blamed that for why we didn't win. Hey, shout out Klopp, man. Shout out Klopp. Shout Wait, out. I have a question. Not at the fucking gap. Yeah, go on, Taz. Go on. So, regardless if they win those two games or not, do you mm-hmm. still think they'll win the league? If they win those two, yes. Is, See, let's say they get four points out of six in those. No. I think I they got win all their. The I think I think I think they got win all their remaining games to win the league. You what, think City are, and Arsenal are going to do that? No, I could see City doing it. Arsenal, City. no, because the City's running. Okay. I, I don't. I think. City, I, I, think I think. I think City's then running it very, very. Yeah, if I think City's City running. win all their games. We could yeah. afford a draw and win it. Yeah, I could see you drawing both though. You I could see you drawing both. Yeah, yeah, fair. You don't think they drop points to us? No. You know, I think they so. go over that hoodoo at the FA Cup. I think they go over that hoodoo. I think I'm just looking at it. This is not even a city. It's more when we were looking at the fixture list. Mm. That fixture list is very favorable. Very, very favorable. Like, like if Liverpool, like, at them, though, like if Liverpool and Arsenal could swap, they, they would swap. They would swap. 
their list for that. They would swap fixtures with City right now. Yeah, yeah, I, I take City's fixtures all day. Right? Exactly, that's my point. And yeah, and I hear... opinion, yeah, go on, then. go on. Then, unpopular, uh, unpopular opinion. I think that you lot, you, United take points from Arsenal and um, uh, Liverpool. I think they take points from both. I agree. I I agree. A lot of United fans keep saying, no, no, no. But, bro, I'm telling you, when, when Arsenal come Old Trafford and that, you lot do with them normally. Store, you know right? who I think takes yeah, points Yeah, you've got a City. sick record against them at Old Trafford. Yeah. We do. We don't do we, our record. record there isn't great, but it's slightly better. It's better yeah. than Arsenal. It's better, it's better. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, go on. Who do you think take points off City Tazel? Tottenham. Tottenham. Because it's, it's the only play style they've struggled against all season. Hmm? It's when teams have gone at them. Chelsea did it twice. Mm-hmm. Um, we did it, you know, for the first 35 minutes at the Etihad, and we had three guilt at chances. If we put those away, we're three nil up at the Etihad. I think we at least get a draw out of that game. Mm-hmm. And I think they struggled against that all season because I don't think they have the stability in midfield and defense anymore. And you know, mm-hmm. it's hurting them. Like we saw even today, like their center backs aren't that game like so that great today. defensively, oh, bro. First of all, like. The main reason I'm here, bro, this four center back shit, like, gotta die. I hate bro, Pep's ruined football. Die. Pep's ruined bro. football. Bro, he... Like, but I my, thought defensively, like, both teams were on point. I gotta give them credit. Today, yeah, both teams were on point. Defensively. Bro, it just, it just looked like bro. Luis Enrique Spain, bro. It was so yeah. fucking... Oh, no, the game was still getting where it was. The game was terrible. No, no, no. Just even City, bro. They didn't do good. anything to Arsenal. They didn't live oh, yeah, love on them. And if Jesus had fucking any balls or a brain... You know, they could have done something because he had two really, really good chances and he went wide on both of them. No, if he, I think if he played Trossard, if he played Trossard <laughs> instead of them, I think at least one of them goes in yeah. and the whole game. Goes in. But, he, but he went, but he went for the draw. That's why he played Jesus because he's defensively better than the other two. Yeah, I'll tell you when. For yeah, the draw. that was that was. And, really that, and people, to anyone is that I actually don't. Um, that's not me being critical. Sure, and you, you know what? You know what? I think, <laughs> I think <laughs> if they played that game until now, right? It's been four or five hours yeah, since no, that no. game. Yeah, still, still no, no. And yeah, still I, no, I think no. Arsenal. Yeah. I think I would have given Arsenal more chance to score because City couldn't do shit. They had no creativity. Yeah, they had yeah, nothing. Today, Even De Bruyne again <laughs> in a big title deciding match, fucking ghosting. Mm-hmm. Erling Haaland, mm-hmm. as as Roy Keane said it, no game outside of you know just scoring goals. He literally did nothing again. He's been Said poor he's all season. I know player. he scored goals, but the amount of chances he's missed, the amount of shit he's done, tired. bro, horrible. No, when he's not scoring, and... his general plays League Two player. He said, oh, "Yeah, it is." Uh, but he, I mean, is. is he wrong? When though? he's not outside of scoring goals, got, that's what he said. He's got he's got off for more. I wouldn't say it's League Two, but I get the point he's making. He has to. He has to again. This is, yeah. comes into developing his game. How old Harlan? Yeah, Twenty two. Develop his game. 23? How old are 23. <clears throat> 23. 23. Yeah, like, this is where now you need to, okay, you've gone from Dortmund to City. Now your game has to has to step up. This is why you need to add to your game. And I you don't see think that. he even can, Saka, though. Even Saka out there. No, you can be, you, you can't. Because I don't think his fundamentals aren't good. I don't think but his fundamentals just be, are good. Just by just being a nuisance. You can do the nuisance thing. utilize what he's actually nah, got. Nah, that's mentality, though, bro. And, being a nuisance yes, has to do with your mentality. He's, he's, he doesn't have that. He's too much of a like a pretty. He plays like a pretty boy. That's what not he today. Does. Like the way that the 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 angst that him and the way him and Gabriel was was you know going at each other from a verbal standpoint. Yeah. That's what you need to add, and just be more physical. Just be a nuisance running the channels. Mm-hmm. Do the newness thing in regards to I'm talking about just outside of everything. Like you don't have to be you don't have to be technically Bernardo Silva, but you just have to add to your game, like just the ball sticking better. That's something you can work on and just stuff like that. And the he has sticking, enough. Does that is that yeah. fundamentals though? Like touch. Uh, no, because it's not necessarily in regards to basically you don't go up against the centre back, drop off the centre back, or even to pin on a uh, you know what's even better, pin on a full back. Because a full back ain't used to that. Running the channels. So whether you're Shit. running the channels at a full no full or sticking in this out, system. Is. Nah, but I'm saying in general because most yeah. teams play fullbacks. Put it this way, yeah. if he, he'll have more joy today playing against Kiriar than he would have Gabriel and, and Saliba. True. But obviously it's not in Pep's system, but I'm just pointing out things in regards to how he can improve his game. Because mm. he wasn't the only one. Like, he was left out there to drive. The midfields is behind him, I look at. Folding and looking at Bernardo injured, Silva, Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, Aki got injured. I'm looking at those three. They're the players I'm looking at. You lot need to do more going forward. 
Because they was they was well, bro. He they was so wolf. bad on the I ball. Mario was oh fine God. defensively. I thought he played okay. He's bad on the ball. Both, both teams, from a defensive standpoint, A1. Everybody gets 10 out of 10. Excelliente. Defend, from, played, from a defensive played, standpoint. Both teams played yeah. like Porto. Yeah, from a defensive standpoint, zero issues with any team. It's the, I was disappointed in the in the offensive play. The all, that, all that talent out there, and this is what you lot produce. They just both teams were both teams were just too timid. Like I said, but risk, I think both teams yeah. were just shit scared of losing. Yeah. Both yeah. teams were just shit. If scared Arteta had cojones, right, I really think they could have beaten them. Yeah, I, I swear to God, have. I think they they if they them. took the game to City, I think they could have beaten them. If they did the Chelsea thing, just like, but then again, them, try to overrun them. I think they could have done it. But they then again, counter -attack you know what? You know what that tells you. You know what that tells you. You don't trust his defense. Yeah, that's true. Don't trust no, it. No, but he definitely. I trust it. I trust he, it. No, 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 no. Arteta does not trust. It. I know, I know, I know. I against know, Man know, City. Yeah, he that's didn't. my point. I'm making. He don't I trust don't think, it. Today. I don't think any team in the world feels good about their defense, even if it's an amazing one against Man and, City. Uh, oh, honestly, right? it's more I, I, to do well, with okay. the name than their. Uh, nah, this is just, just two things. I clarify this: when Real, when Real Madrid played them, are they gonna play like that? No. No, but Real would no, like, okay, okay, all right. You mentioned it already. Quality. You meant you mentioned it already. We'll go. We'll go to another. We'll go to another team. When Spurs went there, did they play like that? No, no that's what I was going to say. What Flores is saying that is, that he game. doesn't trust. Arteta didn't trust his team to go toe to toe. Today with is what I'm saying. As good as their yeah. defense is, no. he played. And again, there's nothing wrong with it. To me, if I'm Arteta, I go one favor. If I'm Arteta, I'd do the same thing. Yeah, I think he made the correct decision. I'm just pointing out when we start talking about Arteta in in regards to all offensive football, we have seen what it was today. He could have went for it. He didn't want to. Was it the right but decision? Then his play Personally, didn't I think counter attack yes. well enough. That was the thing. Like, well, he didn't even I'm set sure them up to because he didn't even put the best counter attacking players out there. No pace. Mm. That first starting lineup it, was the wrong lineup to start with for me yes. personally. Jesus shouldn't have started. Trust yeah. I think Trussard or Martinelli should uh, should have started. If you and if you're trying to come, Martinelli wasn't yeah, fit, sorry, though, carry on the devil. Sorry. No, no, I'm just saying that obviously yeah. Martinelli's on the bench. I'm saying either Trussard yeah. or Martinelli. Obviously, if Martinelli is not fit, then obviously Trussard, isn't it? Because I feel like at the end yeah. of the day, when it comes down to like uh form wise and who's in form, I'll play Trussard over Jesus definitely. It's not even on form, bro. Is Say that Jesus again? is the worst. Jesus is the worst attacker Arsenal have. No, it's definitely. Just what it is. No, no, no not, worse worse. Than Kedia. not worse than in Kedia. Not worse than in Kedia. No, nowhere in near as worse than I would Kedia. rather have. In this setup, I would rather have Enkedia because he is a yep. better goal scorer. Like to hey, we're, hey, hey, we're not hey, playing Zeus this free flowing football. We're gonna do this. Hey, it's not about hey, Jesus is bad in Eddie. No, hey, Jesus is bad. I, 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 I didn't say that though. I didn't say that. Everything. Of course, he's better. But in 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 this game plan today, you would rather you who would you rather see? Take those shots and Kenny or Jesus. I'm taking it. Hey, Jesus, Jesus, but, but again, he's not. But you're talking about it again from an offensive one. And Kenny can't play wide. He can't play left. Let's just yeah, clarify that. You can't. You can't play wing where Jesus was. And Jesus was there to do a job. He was obviously. You want your attackers to score goals. Jesus was not picked in this side for his offensive now. He was picked because he's defensively yeah. the best winger they have. Yes. That's why, because if he if yeah. Arteta wanted to go for this, he plays Martinelli, you play Trossard in the false nine, and you play Saka. If you're really trying to counter attack, you're trying to counter attack with Havertz as the nine. You, you ain't think trying to counter attack. Martinelli is better defensively on the wing than Jesus. No, no, no. Jesus is better than Martinelli defensively. That's why yeah, Jesus played. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the point I'm making. Yeah, the reason you why he because so? Jesus, yes, Jesus is very, very good defensively. As a winner, mm. this is why he played out wide. This is why he played in a pep system for so long, even though he played wide right. He's a better winger than he's a better way. Does don't get mistaken, does he have his limitations? Yes, but for a certain a big away game, which we've seen today, he's one of those players who can do a job. He's better than Martinelli from a defensive standpoint. He's better than Saka, he's better than any other player. Trust that now, offensively, is he better than those players? No, of course, he's not better than Martinelli on the wing. No, I don't think he is. But we I by him picking think, him tells yeah. you all you need to know. Well, I honestly think they, they he set him up correctly, and because it's you know title races like big games like these, they're defined by small big moments and you know very mm -hmm. fine margins. And yeah. I think that's just the difference. If one of those one of those shots goes in, one or Arsenal, we're talking about Arsenal's going on a title charge, all of this, all of that, completely different conversation. Yeah, that, I think I personally he did his job. I who did that I mean, job? That's 
uh, Arteta. I think he set him up perfectly fine. I think no, yeah, they I think he did his job. I would have done the same. Nah, that, that's it. That's where I disagree. No, because he didn't put. He didn't do every, like the only thing I disagree on is defensively. He set them up well. He played for a draw. There was no offensive. Didn't, like, you know, no, didn't Sir Alex? Used to play, didn't Sir Alex yes. used to play for draws in those big away games? Why do? Uh, why do you Ivory think? And Anfield exactly. And why do you think we had back Phil to the Liverpool nil nil? Exactly. Why do you think Sir Alice Ferguson played Phil Neville in midfield and played Carrick. Darren Fletcher in midfield and Pat G. Sung in midfield? We were not trying to play free-flowing football when we went to certain places. And that was our territory. People just don't like it because it's Artel. And he's known as progressive yeah. manager. Ticking. That man was kicking the ball along from goal kicks. Yeah. And we just going to bypass that. <laughs> True. This team who plays out from the back and plays progressive football and wants to dominate the ball and dominate possession, no. was kicking the ball out for long from the back. Rayo was getting the ball on goal kicks and telling everybody go forward. Yeah. He was not trying to cut. Like, if they snatched the goal, they snatched the goal. He was probably looking from set pieces because they're very good. But the chances drop into Jesus. You've played Jesus. You know that that's a deficiency in his game. We know he's not the best in regards to scoring goals. What he can do is play to a system from a defensive standpoint. Because why City got no joy down the wings was down to him. The amount of times he doubled up with the fullback, with Kiriya. Whether it was Doku, whether it was Foden. But what did they bring Jesus in for, though? But they brought Jesus in for that reason, though, that not to score yes. goals. That's the reason why I, I judge him highly. I've been saying this. I called Jesus out from the from the beginning when they first even got him. I said that. Mm. I can't lie to you lot. Like, if you lot are looking for goals out of Jesus, it's not going to happen. Like, it's impossible. Mm. And I was even when he first came. And he actually mm. kind of got a couple goals but still like you get me like he wasn't he wasn't good enough for me and then even this mm. season he's somebody that I'll be real and that Arsenal team is due to be talked about because at the mm. end of the day like for me personally if I was an Arsenal supporter he's not performing in my in my opinion as in like for the for the price they bought him for people say mm. oh the price wasn't even that much but for me personally if you get bought for that price you should still be putting up better numbers than what you put up now and then he's injury prone as well which I don't rate either that's another mm. thing and then on top of that like obviously I'm, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt with this game because I actually think that first chance, like even if he even it's if he easy. does it properly, like the keeper should be saving that. It's a near post mm -hmm. shot, anyways. So the second like, one, I, the second one. You yeah. talk about the left foot. Yeah, you talk about the left foot. Yeah, 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 left foot. Yeah, yeah that was that, on, that was that, that's tough. No, no, no. That's yes. a, I said he should. He said he. Sh I said he should hit the target, but you hit the yeah, nail yeah, on yeah. the head. The Nero is them buying him for that price. We've seen what he's good at. He's a fantastic yeah. squad player. If you're yeah. chasing the title, this is why he won yeah. four leagues at sea. Yeah. He's a better white. He's a, he should be he should be back up to soccer. Yep. Yeah. Yes. That's what he should be. And then they go and sign a bad boy striker. But guess what? They went and signed a silky German. Okay, hey, you know what though? Let me say this. The thing about crazy thing about Jesus is I remember after the United Arsenal game when we beat them three one at Old Trafford last season. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember in that stream I called him the French Lacazette, and nothing has been true. He's Brazilian like, ever bro. since. Yeah, the Brazilian, like I said, that's what I, that's what I meant. So, and it's just it's just the same. It's the same type of player, but you know, and the fact that he let Havertz take his chain is an even bigger indictment. That's crazy. But I think honestly, this Arsenal team, bro, if they could sign a volume passer in midfield and a proper gunman number nine who can facilitate play, like an Ivan Tony. If they get a volume passer in Ivan Tony, I think they'll win the league next year, like without a doubt. I think, bro, this, bro, they're really good. Like, crazy, let's the crazy, yeah, crazy they part are. is, crazy part is, that's what they needed this summer. Yeah. 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 Oh, they needed the that the past they summer. They needed the summer before that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what they you needed. Have the defense of oh, hey, hold, hold you hold have the ball carrier in Rice. No. You just need a volume passer from deep because Declan no. Rice can't do the, you know, Number six role like that, like a Jorginho. I thought Rice played well today, by the way. Yeah, did did. Another good all, defensive, all defensive players, Jorginho was there, uh, Rodri for City. Like I say, I can't clar clarify that enough how the defensive players were on point to yeah. this game. They shut down all offensive um, threats from the other side. And that, that, that you have to credit. Let me just get to a couple of these super chats and then we'll go to you, Jez, as well. Big up, George F says, United mm -hmm. are crap. Liverpool should beat them. They should. Were they? Who knows? Because that's yeah, what was said. Yeah, but because of the, like, the emotional aspect of that game is what yeah. is making that bigger than what it is on I paper. On paper, we should be battering you, man. But obviously, with how bit, how much the game means to both sets of fans, 
it's obviously more di- it's obviously a different game in terms of that, but I think we'll win. I've said I think we'll win. Yeah. Spurs will draw with Arsenal and City, says Georgia. We see because Spurs man. do play Hopefully. all three ta- all three um they play all three contenders, so we're gonna see. Back to uh, Chelsea back. versus back to Manchester back. United. Yeah, fa- nah, it's one's been moved now because of yeah. oh, it's it's moved. the oh, city yeah. one has moved because they, they got through in the FA Cup. Yeah. Oh, Big up Georgia enough, for right. another super chat. Says Chelsea versus Manchester United. The clown derby is next. I'm <laughs> not looking forward to that shit whatsoever. Um, yeah, no, it's going to be no. horrific. Uh, Foden and Saka still in the England squad. Both crap. I don't think both crap. Both quality yeah, players. Like both just both weren't good bad today. Games. They're not crap. It was good today because they still like we're talking about Haaland. These men still got levels to go. These men still need to add to their game and improve. And the consistency you're looking for, these are two teams chasing Premier Leagues and the Premier League and the Champions League. You're being critiqued at the highest level against the best of the best, the creme de la creme. You can't have one bad game and one good game and one bad... No, 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 no. Consistency. Reign supreme is key. The thing is, with those two... Oh, wait, no, oh. sorry. Continue. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, let me just get to this. It's all good. Yeah. Vin, big up for the Super Chat. Says, flawless, can't believe troops came into the game with Sydney Sweeney level chest. And now we shamelessly claiming four out of six points and a draw was a good result. Yeah, we, we'll get him on that next time. But I remember that he said, nah, we must win. Draw, da 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 and all this. And all right, sure, sure. But yeah, big up for the Super Chat. DJ yeah, Warren thinks Arsenal are finished. Run up the likes now. TJ Spawn, he's been he's spawning a lot with his Arsenal rhetoric. Run up the likes though. Hit the subscribe button as well. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you subscribe to Strasbourg Steve's channel as well. Yeah, go on, Taz. What are you saying? I think the thing is with Foden and Saka, I think oh, they're boy. falling into the thing of Jack of all trades, master of none. Like, I think they need to just take one or two things that they're really good at and just work on that and have that be their game. I think like this like it's just trying to do too much, and like if they have a more refined game, I think they'll be much better and more have way more impact. Cause like, well, cause like you don't, they're... Think, you don't think Foden is a master of first touch? His first touch is unbelievable. It's one of the best first touches I've seen. I think, think Taz is talking about position. I'm guessing position, be, like position ah, and Foden. stuff. Like Foden, he's talking and, like, about play style with stuff, like you know that type of thing. Cause. Yeah. Like, he's just, like, sometimes he's on the left wing, then he's on the right wing. He's playing the number eight, number ten. Like, if they, I think, get a good, refined position. Centrally. Right, with big. Foden. With Foden. With him, that's that. And with Saka, it's like, all right, are you a goal scorer? Can you, um, are you, like, do you beat your man and try to put the ball in? Like, Pause. what is what is your game? He's, like, a six out of ten. I'm a he's, like, man. a six out of ten at everything. He needs to, like. Get some eights and nines into his game, and then I think mm. they'll be good. They're not crap. Like let's not do that. But yeah, I don't I think, think that's crap. Sense. No, I I agree with you, Taza. I think Foden, but that's what. At the same time, though, you're asking Pep Guardiola to chain a down, a cha- chain a man down into a certain position. Pause. <laughs> like you don't really bro, do. Why, did you have, why do you have to make it all? Cause, bro, I know, I know you were trying to make it all. Yeah, he's got to slap the pause nah. on that. When Tri- I'm around, crazy. I did. I just thought the pause on it. Talk about man. Nah, you were trying to make it awkward, but no. Hey. But Pep Guardiola, this is what he does, though. He has guys playing a bit of everywhere. Doku left, right. Rodri will sometimes play completely different to Rodri and, and other. Like we've seen the Stones center back midfield. Walker or, or or sorry, not Walker. Draw Cancelo, left back, right back. Like this is what Pep does. So that's the only thing. I agree with you. Yeah, Tom. yeah, but Foden that's should a, nail down a position. But central. look at his best players, though. Look at his best players, Kevin De Bruyne. We know he's in the midfield. I think De Bruyne right? is in the last season. You know? We we know he's in the midfield, right? Erling Holland. We know he's yeah. playing up front. When when he has his Pep has his best players, they're they're a nailed down position for sure. No. Like, well, he needs to. It's, 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 I hear you to an extent, but where it's not his fault is because he is going to get moved around. He's he's doing a Bernardo yeah. Silva too, because Bernardo Silva is yes. one of their best players, and he today central, right midfield, right wing, yeah. left wing. Foden just needs to just but, improve but in the general. The thing is, Bernardo has impact wherever he goes because yeah. Bernardo's a bad player. That's yeah, the yeah. point I'm making. Yeah, like it's about it's uh, about. I think I think uh, I think I think. I think Foden, Foden, is, Foden, Foden is just as good as Silva. No, 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 he's not. No, no, no. no, no, no. He's not. Real. He's not. If if he was, if he was, if he was as good as Silva, Bernardo's different level. Yeah, troops, man. 
The two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today, both of them. Right, okay. I big up the panel. I told as for Ryan, man. Hey, Ryan, you're lucky. You're not from you. You're lucky. I you're gotta leave, man. man. I got it. Right. Where, yeah, no, where, 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 where you going, Tazza? Yo, Where you going, Tazza? Where you going, Tazza? Yo, where you going, Tazza? Man, this guy <laughs> left. Hey, you. This guy hey, left. Yo. Hey, Ryan, so lucky. Left. Hey, Ryan, you know you're lucky. You're not from London. You know you'll get cooked for this. You know, that man them will disown you. They'll call you four shots for me, bro. From this point on, man. Man ain't bringing you around. It no was girls. Three after years that. ago. Oh my word. Nah, oh man. shit. Yo, that's it. Three years, years ago. Receipts is receipts. <laughs> how, old you, how old were you three years ago? 21. See, that's a poor performance for your own age. You're licensed. You're licensed. You can't be throwing them lyrics at the age of 21. Oh, <laughs> bro, bro, you saw me in the future yesterday, bro. Like, you see? Yeah. This, how, this is how you go, bro. By the way, people. Yeah. Yeah. But like I said, man, like you need to improve, man. Like young buck needs to improve. But now we will about back to real quick for the phone and silver thing. Yeah. If I just say if phone was as good as if phone was as good as silver, phone would have hundred percent already nailed on the position and you would be playing consistently well in it. If and if all, you know I if Foden was if all, if Foden was as good as silver, there'd be no debate. There'd be no two things. There'd be no debate about him being world class, and he wouldn't be getting. He would not be getting compared to Saka. In terms of no, talent, but the Saka, the Saka, the Saka Foden one is stupid. That's like comparing. No, it is. But what I'm saying is, in terms of like, because I think so too, because they play different roles, and Foden's exactly. not really defined. But what it's I'm like talking Kante about, and Pogba. But, what? Yeah, yeah. But, but what I'm talking about is Kante and Pogba are two extremely talented players. Even though it was wrong for the comparison, same way Foden before the Saka links. You know who's getting compared to Mbappe? That was a conversation. Yeah, that was a conversation. And don't get mistaken, Foden, I think is top quality, but. Where Tazo, I think, is right. He just needs to improve his game. It's an improvement oh, yeah, of his I agree. game. But but I, 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 already think it's such a, I already think it's at it's quality. such a tremendous level that... Yes, like, I agree. At the end of each other's careers, like Silva and Foden, they're going to be very similar. Yeah, yo, I can't leave Tazo left, you know. This is crazy. Yo, you made Tazo <laughs> leave, Ryan. Right. What's wrong with you, man? No, you did. This happened three What did I ago. do? Wait, say again, you broke up. Oh, did I? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, of course you broke up. That's why I, I just said. I did How are you blaming me because... for what you said? This is because the crazy. People do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The world yeah, the world's yeah, yeah. smallest in front of thousands of people. Who shown it in front of thousands? Was it me or was it troops? You, troops, and Lewis. Who was who controls back? Who wait? What is that? The back again podcast you're talking so about? What you, channels you, are? No, you showed it. You showed it on your 10k party first. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So well, was the clip not already out there? And all that as well. Was the clip not already out there? Yeah, but you brought I did, it I, You know what, actually? I actually didn't Everyone show it on the 10K. Wait, wait, wait. That. I actually didn't show it on the 10K party. It was not me. It was Yeah, but you enabled it. It's your channel. How, how I enabled it, then man clicked it up. So you blaming you me for something you said. So you're at you're at zero fault here, yeah? Yeah, 100%, because it happened to me. You're at zero fault. So, nah, nah, you know, are, so you are, said you are, so you're yeah, at zero bro. fault, yeah. You are, you are, you are <laughs> the zero, you know why it's great oh, to see people's first reaction to it is the oh, greatest shit. Man. I've seen De Niro, I've seen Lex, I've seen Kaneki, I've seen Corey when we did yeah. Bandam United. People's initial reaction. Bro, this is my blaming me, you know, for saying he did. This is the craziest part. You're an enabler, that's why. How about I do? All right, cool. Yeah, what you yeah, enabled? Yeah, 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 yeah. say the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today, both of them. All right, okay. All right, big up the panel. I told as for. <laughs> he goes, oh, he goes, oh, all right. Oh, 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 <laughs> It just yo, it's funny, yo. I watch it on a daily. I ain't gonna oh. lie, yo. No, I just I go to my Instagram and see that bro, shit, yo. You, you know what it is? You know what and I said this. I I remember the oh I remember the oh yeah high thing perfectly. I'd actually forgotten a, a, I'd actually completely forgotten about the 16 out of 10 thing genuinely until it was brought up on the 10k party. I'd forgotten about the 16 out of 10 thing. A man blames me when it's the two girls fault, you know. 
with the gala right fault. Oh, well. oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Blame the two gala. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, not the girl's Yo, nah, De Niro. If the gala just say shut up or something like that, it's not a thing, yo. It's the quiet. It's the anything that's worth the telling. You know, Yao's been a disgrace this past week. You know, she's been an absolute disgrace this past week. She's been a disgrace, hundred percent. She's not even come out to defend me this last week. I've read her. She has it. Somebody, somebody was nah. I need to, I need to say this in it because like, I need, I need to say this. And and to out fault for this as well, you know. No, yeah, you know what? Yeah. You know when I think about it, Troops is the one most at fault for all this. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. Blame Troops, man. Yeah, Blame yeah, Troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, bro. Oh, just hold the L. Just hold the L, bro. That Troops is at fault. Yo, the this, this is a jet. You know what? Like, come on. Ryan can't, can't, can't hold. You can't hold. Buy the L's. He ain't holding this generational L's. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Just hold the major L. I realize why you're at fault, but actually Troops is the one at fault the most, actually. Because I actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let, let me speak because I need to get this off. Yeah, yeah, go on, get it off your chest. chest. Go on, the floor is yours, yo. The floor is yours. Go on, on the go 10k on. party, you and Lewis said that it's gonna you lot are gonna show it on back again one day. Mm -hmm. So I but you never said when. So I messaged troops that when did you do that back again episode? Was it the Monday? Yeah, it was the, yeah, it was a couple of weeks ago. Sunday. Still. I need to go find out to make the funniest Monday. moment. It was, it was like a week ago, in it Sunday or the Monday, yeah, whatever it was. About a week ago. So I messaged troops earlier on that day, knowing that back again was gonna happen that night, saying um whatever happens don't uh, along the lines of whatever happens don't show them the clips and guess what happens he shows the clips in it on his channel yeah. in front of thousands of people on a beautiful on, sentence, on, on a channel that's got 299k subscribers <laughs> say it again on, yo a channel right. that's got how many subscribers so say that again how many subscribers 299k subscribers let's go let's get so the on, troops to so 300k as well 300k let's this go is, so that a thousand more it. people can see that clip of ryan a thousand yeah, more ryan, people can ask it, ryan can i say some Warrior J, I get to this as well. Don't worry, I got you from yeah, Warrior J. Last point, right. yes, yeah, yeah. No, you know, if I if I was troops in that scenario, I say, okay, cool, thanks. I won't play anything, and then boom, stream comes. I play the clip the first time. <laughs> no, but I don't troops, 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 troops could have stopped, stopped it. You said, troops could have stopped it. You know, no, no, troops no, 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 no. You, he literally you. said he messaged me about a clip I had no clue about. Lol, no, no, piss no, off. This is this is. And if you don't know what the clip is, by the way, can I just say the two girls below us are looking sixteen out of tens today, both of them. All right, okay. right, big up the panel. I told as far. Bro, and, and the map the map thing is here. The map thing is here. I, 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 just, need, I just need to say this as well. I need to say this as well. This fucking De Niro guy doesn't even, doesn't if, even wanna be. If, 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 if somebody in the chat, if somebody if somebody in the chat can find me the clip where Mato and Ryan were arguing about who's up higher in the table in Elena's simplest. Oh, yeah, that was bad. You remember that? I was bad. Oh, that, was that, was that. that was if somebody finds the clip. That was fat. All right, let me, let me get back to yeah, yeah, you. Let you me get, let's <laughs> change topics, please. please. <laughs> yeah, they're all embarrassed for my It's second hand embarrassment. Look at the Nero. Yo, he just barely disappointed. But it's just disappointing, yo. He's like, a... <laughs> and you know what it is, there. I don't know what's getting you. Every time you've watched it, you're clocking something else. That's what it is. No, but to... <laughs> no, nah, nah, nah. Let me get to this. Let me get to this. We'll run it back. No, no, I'm uh, going to no, no. no, say something in it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to say something. Can I just yeah. say the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10s today, both of them? Right, okay. I big up the panel. I told as far. Bro. Alan <laughs> Argo, <laughs> you know when Troop says, "Oh, Alan I knew nothing about the clip and stuff," and I and I texted him so he found out about <sighs> the clip. The reason why that's not oh, my shit. fault is because <laughs> it was going to get shown anyway. Flows and Lewis were going to show him anyway. Yeah, but we were going to show what we were going to show it. Like this was we might have forgotten, or we was going to show it like when you were just talking the utmost smoke. I was going to hold that as a card. I was like Gambit. I wasn't so gonna was throw gonna the card yet. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, uh, but it might not been the season. Please, please, please. It was. Wait, it was <laughs> look at the Daryl. Look at the Daryl's face. Run, run. Just, just run. Visibly uncomfortable. Man, listen, please, please. I tell you, you are you are not. Look at the Daryl's face. He is disgusting. 
Go, Ryan, what right. I'm saying. Let me, let, let me let get... it go, man. The whole world knows oh, about shit. it. We're gonna oh. keep playing, keep the, we're gonna keep playing I... the clip, man. And yeah, oh yeah, 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 hundred percent. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This clip, yeah, it's a generational one. Uh, who do you guys think is the underrated player and the underrated signing of this season, and why? We're going to you, Steve. Underrated. We'll go. We'll stick Premier League underrated player and underrated signing this season. It's got to be outside the top six because everybody inside the top six is either rated or trash. So I think it. I think I think I think that's a good first thing to go by for me because underrated mm-hmm. top six. That's 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 like a that's a fucking oxymoron. So cool. it's got to be Edson Alvarez for West Ham. I think they look trash without him. They Edson look trash Alvarez, without him. Um, and they needed a war. They needed. Someone to replace Declan Rice, not a Declan Rice replacement, because those guys don't just grow on trees. They needed someone to replace <laughs> Declan Rice. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. He does. <laughs> Fucking hell. Right. <laughs> 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 it's great, yo. Man, yo, it's beautiful. Seeing people's initial reaction to the shit is funny as fuck. <laughs> All right, yo, legend, yo, that 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 clip. You see that clip? That's going down you, in the content the creator space hall of yeah. fame. I go on, go on, Mr. West Ham. You, you know, after yeah. the back again thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I texted what did Yanni you say? Yeah, something about it. Yeah. Um, wait, 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 hold up. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait Shout out, read it, read it again. Shout out, shout out. By the way, can I just say the two girls below us are looking sixteen out of tens today, both of them. All right, okay. big up the panel. I told as for. Well, say what so, you were gonna so say. I text, hey, I text hey, Ryan, say what I've been I've, I've been getting cooked recently, by the way, because of that whole all all year high thing in twenty twenty one. Do you know what she replies? What Good, you, you deserve it. Facts. I agree, ah, yeah, you do. I yeah, you do. Yeah, do. yeah, Jan's correct, yo. Yeah, yeah he's correct. Do. You this finally did. This could happen to a night like out of everybody in the content creator space. If I could pick one person to happen to, it'd be you. And if I could pick two yes. people for it to happen to you, it happened to, it'd be you and you again, without doubt. So yes. yeah, I'm glad this is happening. Again. And it was filmed and it's great. And we've actually put it, it's in the hot, it's in the it's in the content creator space hall of fame, like that footage right there. Don't hey, think question. in 16, don't think in 16 years from now that I'm not gonna be still running that clip. You crazy, question. go on De Niro. Question. <laughs> just said something just now. Did you say that you messaged Yan? Did you say it? Yeah, because he knows Yan. Yeah, he said he messaged Yan. No, no, I'm saying, but he messaged the girl that gave him crickets. Yeah, 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 because he knows. Oh, guy, oh, yeah, to, to clarify, he, we actually like he knows her in it. We all know. Each other. No, 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 we that's calm. Yeah. That's yeah, calm. Yeah. But like, yeah, yeah. he messaged her and then he messaged her about the situation, right? Is he gonna ask her? Yeah, he messaged her about the situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this guy's an idiot. Hey, listen, bro. I'm gonna chat to you. I'm gonna chat to you in the group chat after this, bro. Because. <laughs> You get me, bro. Like, this, how am this... I an idiot? How am I? Nah, bro. You can't. Like, I've, I've known, I've known her for, I've no, known no, her for no, like no. over that's three years. Like, what are we doing here? No, no, that's not the point. That's not the point. Yeah, yeah off there, off there. You right, you are right, fair. Yeah. But big up to Vin Ten for the sixteen dollars ten, uh, ten cent super chat. He says, "Run it again." Much appreciated. I don't know why I'm evil, but big up to Rums. I don't know why I did. Okay. Big up to everyone yeah, I don't know that is tapped in. And just to clarify, to, just to, just to, just to clarify for the clip as well. Shout out Tom Little because he was the one who added the critics. Nah, uh, the crickets. Sorry. Yeah, shout out myself for the he said that with him. He added the yeah. crickets to it. So shout out Tom Little, first and foremost. Secondly, shout out out of context sarcasm city TV because they was the one who clipped it up. And he oh, can beautiful fuck himself said. as well. He's even worse as well than <laughs> fucking out of context. I don't even know. Actually, I don't even know if it's a man or a woman, honestly. But nah, it's it definitely is, a guy. I asked him. Well, yeah, whoever yeah, whoever yeah, is, is a goat. That's all but I'm legend, hundred percent for real. But yeah, underrated player. So who's your underrated player? Who did you say, Steve? Probably Edson Alvarez. Okay, who's your underrated signing? I, oh, oh, shit, I didn't even realize. You no, you can, you can pick oh, the same person. Underrated signing would be Edson Alvarez, yeah. Because of from the summer, yeah, yeah I'd, go, I'd, go, I'd go Edson Alvarez. Underrated players, probably. Does 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 Ali Watkins get the praise he deserves? Does Dominic Solanke get the praise he deserves? Does... Uh, I actually don't think Watkins has to be honest. I'll be, I'll be real. I mean, you have to just choose. You just have to choose one. Just, 
No, no, I get what you, 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 you say. It's your opinion anyway, who you want yeah. to choose. It's no wrong answer. I'm just, I'm like actually interested to hear just suggestions to see you people bring up. And we're going to ask the underrated player and underrated signing. But it can be the, the most, man said Tom Little most underrated. Oh, he's brilliant for adding that crickets. Because that right. clip was goaded before that. And he just added the, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just the, the seasoning. Right. To it, to it. Well, you say well, De Niro. Well, 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 the reason, the reason why you're saying Ryan and Ryan again because I actually have some sort of level of composure about myself. Yeah, facts. Plus, Jez is hilarious. He actually has me crease as much as he's a crook. He actually has me creasing up. You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't be at my case. Whereas Ryan was shout, shout, on my shout case just before. Shout, shout like, to right. the future knows from that man. If you know, yeah, like, <laughs> what are you say? What are you saying, De Niro? Underrated player and underrated side. Oh yeah, my own, oh yeah. By the way, my player was Watkins. Signing was Alvarez. Okay, first, what are you saying, De Niro? Underrated player of the season. Underrated player, you know. Do you agree with, real quick, De Niro, do you agree with me that it's probably the most accurate to pick someone outside the top six? Because Yeah, yeah, I, I'm even going to go with, I mean, yeah, I even see a name right now. I'm even going to go with Kudu Storm. Yeah, I, I'll say okay. that. Because I, so like, I feel like he's rated, but not, like, it's not It's not talked about a lot. You get what he I'm scored saying? again against yeah, the yeah, you get what He's shit go goalkeeping. It's fucking tragic mm. goalkeeper from Dubravka. He's a good strike, bro. Yeah, underrated player. Because the player that he's not, I would obviously people rate him in it, but obviously because he's young and and he hasn't even he hasn't played, but well, he's playing a lot of games now. But I can't lie, I'm just gonna go with Kobe still because I just think he's yeah, like as a young player in it. Like for me, underrated player, but obviously where he's young and that people are obviously gonna say like he needs more time, they need to see more of him and that. But that's what I'm gonna go for because I can't think of any other player right now, in my opinion. Who who else is there? You know what? In fact, forget that. Let, let me go with um Alexander okay. Isak, the striker, Newcastle. Isak, okay. Fair. My bagsman. My, I think he gets the praise he deserves though, and for you me, think? that's that's your yeah. Pick. I, I think so too. Ooh, and I love the shot from Ed Pascal Gross. Pascal Gross. Actually, sorry, no. sorry, 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 sorry. Ban that, ban that, ban that, ban that. Sorry, mm. Johnny Evans. Do you know what? That's a shout still. Yeah, Johnny Evans. You know I'm saying yeah. Johnny Evans has been quality. That that that, that, is, that is a shout. Yeah. yeah yes, Fats. Are you telling us you good? Yeah, there's a new stuff. Uh, apparently, Potter's Pot been sacked. Wait, what? You're joking. <laughs> April Fools, you know, this this guy, yo, look at, ain't you on the playback? They are live on the playback as well, people. They are live on the playback. Yeah, they're live on the playback. <laughs> yeah, this guy, I got me, you know, you fucking got me, you prick. You know what I'm saying? You fucking got me. It's crazy. You got me. You got me, you joke. Man. Flawless. Man, uh, uh, Man City signing Carlo Ancelotti, that gets him too. Hey, 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 like piss knife. off, yo. Hey, fuck you, it it? cuts like a knife like Ryan Adams. So. What, what, Ryan, what are you saying? Underrated player of the season. Um, Player. I like the Fulham striker, in it? That Munez. Rodrigo Munez, yes. Yeah. Like, he's made, I think he's made 11 starts this season. Fulham has got eight goals, in it? So, yeah. Um, yeah, I also like Dingra from Brighton as well. I think yes. He's a player. yes. Um, yeah, so I'd probably say those two, to be honest. What about signing? Hey, before you carry on, facts. Who did when you did leave over signings? on the playback? Who's there? New signings. I think mean, um, Sheik, Sheik is there. Oh, Sheik. All right, cool. Sheik's what there. Yeah, I see you on both. That's why I got another tab open. Yeah. Now you don't have to run back. I was just making sure you had it left it, you know, by itself. That's all. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. I'm going to go back. Oh, again. Ryan. Sorry. What... Yeah, yeah, no stress. Bless. Yeah, what was your two picks, Ryan? What did you say, sir? Um, I said Rodrigo Muniz at um, Fulham um, and Adingra at Brighton. All right, cool. What are you saying, Jess? Underrated player uh, of the season. Uh, so, underrated player of the season. I can't lie. I go with some of the Wolves. I go with the Wolves guys. I think Lamina has been actually oh, really yeah, consistent. Yeah, yeah, Lamina's been I cold. think Lamina for Wolves has been cold. extremely cold. consistent for them, in my opinion. And for most underrated signing of the season, or underrated signing of the season, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of hard for me to say, obviously. But so I went with Edson Alvarez. I don't, I know that's not because I'm just trying to go with something different. Just so we all have some different voices yeah. and different things. Like you know what? What's what's? I, I think it goes under the radar because they're down the table. But I think players like Anthony, um, Anthony, um, um, Semenyo, 
and also and Curtis. Like, I, thought, I, thought you was, I thought you was going to yeah. say Alanga. I was about to 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 say Alanga. I know. That's why I was like, I was going to say Alanga. Yeah. That's enough. Now, Anthony Semenyo and um, what's it called? And Milos Kirkus at um. Yeah, Minos Kirkus at Bournemouth. I think they, I think they, they deserve to be there with the underrated signing. My, my Hungarian fullback, I love that guy. Love oh. them at Azad Alkmaar. Well, last... to... It's tough. I... Underrated player, underrated signing of the season. It's tough. Mino and Mino. <clears throat> you get. Under, right, like he gets his. He, he does get his plaudits. He does. Yeah. He does. He does get his plaudits. But I think he's. Yeah, he's been exceptional in particular when you look at the mess that man's walked into. It's outrageous. Like, just the uh, man plays in the midfield with McTominay and Bruno. It's like, come on, man. Like, it's a wrap. You know what? Underrated signing. I don't know if you lot signed him, but I've mentioned him all the time. Big fan of Dogie. I've said this. I think he's quality. Yeah. Like, we, sa- yeah. we, signed yeah. him, we signed him last summer, but obviously he's got official. Um, Who did they say? Yeah. In the so summer, it's, it's um, official in the summer. I'll go with as underrated signing him because I think he could be argued he's the best in the league in his position. And we just overlooked that. Despite there not being the best like fullbacks in the league, still to be in the conversation at in your first season is yeah. still incredible. I think Vicario has been very good as well, certified. But I'd say a doggy, like, like because I, I will never forget it when we did the first whoever Spurs played opening day of the season, and I was watching the game yeah, and Jerry was on the watch long. Was it the right? Brentford? And I said, yeah, I said, I was like, yo, who's this left back? Because I had never heard of him, I'd never seen him, didn't know anything about him. And I was like, yo, who's I was super impressed. I think Robertson's been good at um, Fulham as well. Yeah, I do think yeah. he's good at. He's I think a he's a good like I want Robinson at Fulham. Yeah. So well, in regards to underrated signing, I'd say I'd say um, I'd say I'd say a doggy hundred percent. In regards to underrated player, I'm trying to think underrated player. Let me actually have a look at the table. I'm trying to jog my memory in regards to some. So I think anyone like, on Brentford, like like Stand still, like. Like, like you said, Steve, is in regards to most players in the top six are going to get their ratings because they're in the top six. If you're in a big six side, sorry. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Actually, nah, scratch that. I got to go with one underrated player, Palmer. Because he's playing with a whole heap of mess. Hmm. What he's doing, I don't think many, in particular in playing attack in a system-based game, which football is, and he's managing to not only get GNA, but he's also having good performances. A man's playing next to Mudrick. Amad Awake and Gallagher in the 10 and Jackson and all these players who are just flowers, not good. Though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think yeah. so still, but not enough because I don't think many of us do what he's done there. I think you put most attack, I think you put 95% attackers in that in the same system and he doesn't. Attackers who we say, oh, they're much better than. I think Palmer's getting his flowers though. Yeah. I, yeah. I disagree. I, agree. I think he's only, I think he's doing a job that only a very few could do. What other attacking midfielders could do what he's doing there? No, I agree. That's I, why I, 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 I do hear you, but I do think mm. he's getting his flowers. I'll yeah, be honest flowers, with yeah. you. I think he gets his flowers. I think, well. I think Gusto I'm not doesn't even talking get from just flowers. Chelsea fans. I'm seeing from rival fans. He's getting his flowers. Yeah, bro. now. Yeah. But I think it shouldn't be flowers. It should be yeah. bouquets. It's the whole yeah. florist. He's only getting oh, bouquets. I, 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 I like the Anthony Gordon shop, yeah, but I feel like Anthony Gordon is getting his credit. I Do You know what? I do want to say... Obviously, maybe Livermento. Sh- no, because some people might say it's shameless. I don't think shameless if I say it, but I think I, I genuinely believe Son actually deserves his credit um, for this season on the way because I, be re- I didn't Son's expect a the season where he had 15 goals and eight assists this season. Son's Considering that Kane left, and you know, I think people look like considering must uh, I, I actually was talking about if the guy doesn't play striker, low key just bench him or sell him. I said that mm-hmm. we've gone into the season. Mm-hmm. And for him to be at least delivering when we need him to deliver, obviously there's games where he doesn't deliver, but I think where he finds a way to help us win football matches, I think for this season, for this season, I think he's doing a lot better than I think people give him credit for, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree with you still. Yeah, I agree still. Yeah, sounds good. I think that's fair. No, I think that's fair. I think Son is is, is definitely a fair shout. You got Victor in the court? Yes, Victor, what are you saying, man? You good? Yeah, man, I'm all good. I'm all good. How's everyone doing? How well, oh, I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. oh, bless, man. Oh, bless. Yeah, actually, we'll go to you, Victor. Most underrated player in the Premier League so far this season, definitely not Amy. Yeah, yeah, this man. 
<laughs> You're sick. <laughs> she's well, she's well, not watching the stream. Well, um, she might be shout out to her. Uh, if she's watching, if she's watching, shout out to you all the time. Is she a 16 out of 10 too? Is she one of them <laughs> one? Hey, to just. Right. Or is she just a standard? Hey, just a, just a reminder to Victor and Jez, this is live right now, just to clarify. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know. It's, yeah, I know, you know, that's what you said. Yeah, I, was just, I, was just, I was just making sure, that's all. I was just, I was, you I was you just, just you reminding you. You tried to shoot shot for 227 people. Yeah, yeah I was smacking. Um, underrated player of the season. Um, That's a tough one. I think everyone needs Here's a question, real quick, and it relates to it. Do you think it's probably more accurate to say it's it's a player that's underrated that's outside of the big six because we focus so much on them? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred. I was thinking outside the big six, hundred percent. And I was gonna, I was gonna say Edson Alvarez for mm. West Ham. That was my pick as well for first signing. Yeah, I was gonna. Well. Yeah, I think I think he's been a great signing. <laughs> I think um, Wesley Hudson, they they ain't really missed rice like that. So, um, I will say Edson Alvarez. And that's in a poorly coached whack a mole team that Moyes is running, bro. Yeah. That guy makes in game the losing substitution, not game winning substitute. He makes game losing substitution. Yeah, it, 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 it ain't a systemless team. There is a system, it's just defend, didn't it? That's the team, defend the counter attack. That's, that's his style of play. But you can tell once he wasn't, I think if he played against Newcastle, they would have won that game. But obviously, because that's bringing a They have a far teams. better chance. Yeah, because that's bringing a Carver Phillips, that, that didn't help. No, that was a game losing substitution. Ben Johnson well, how, coming up, game losing substitution. Bring it on, Weight Watchers Phillips. Like, bro, yeah, come on, I said Weight Watchers Phillips. You know that's crazy. Bro, bro that's crazy. You a madman. Yeah, it is. And that being said, <clears throat> I just seen what troops. Shout out to troops each and every time, people. Not only on the Back Again podcast did we have over two thousand people watching, which is absolutely yeah. crazy as well. He's only thirty four away from three hundred k. So if you're not subscribed, if you're under a rock. Subscribe to Troops TV. Like I can't even believe I'm having to say this. Subscribe to Troops TV if you don't. You catch me over there. Lewis over is over there. Hassam is over there. Unfortunately, Ryan is also in the comments over there on a regular basis. Unfortunately, but you have plenty of other great content creators over there. So make sure you go subscribe to Troops TV and also make sure you subscribe to Strasbourg Steve's channel as well. One of the mods, please drop the link in the comment section for Steve's channel as well. Because how many are you away from 1K? Uh, what we got here? We, we getting you to 1k on this stream. Uh, you, did you say like 13 or 989, something? 989. Yeah. Yo, 11. Man, man's 11 away. Go subscribe 11. to Strasbourg, Steve. What are we doing? You know what I'm saying? Go subscribe right now. Drop the link there. Yeah, one of the mods, hey, AJ, I appreciate that. Make sure you lot subscribe to Troops TV and go subscribe to Strasbourg Steve's channel as well. I'm going to make sure I'm subscribed on the gaming channel in a second, but I'm sure well, I can I ask a question quickly to you before we go to Andy's question? Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah go on. Mostly, Obviously, you you want to draw and we were able to get the win. But I still obviously see people say that United can still obviously chase fifth because, because obviously we still have to play Liverpool, Chelsea, United, um, not only United, um, Arsenal and Chelsea, I think, as well. Yeah. Do you think even Chelsea, if you yeah. drop points in more, if you drop more points than actually game points in those games, you still think United can catch up or... Is nah, we can't. I mean, the highest I think we can finish is six. We too inconsistent. Yeah, we way too inconsistent. So well, we, we are. Someone unexpected. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's not unexpected. <laughs> if you watch Manchester United, it's definitely not unexpected. No, like because you but, thought, did you think you were gonna beat Brentford? Yeah, but that's more in hope. That's than what I mean by unexpected. No, but that's more in hope than expectation because I'm a Manchester United fan. So no, wait, if you actually, question, it... actually, wait, I know what I did. Never mind. I, I got this planned out. Yeah, but... like that's legit what it is. When do I ever, you know me a long time, Steve. When do I ever predict Manchester United to lose? Only backstage, really, isn't it? This is uh, not even that. I just feel like, oh, it's a tough one. I mean, Manchester United. Uh, like, you I'm have biased. backstage. I have. I'm asked. biased. I have. Like I just be like, I'll be like, it's a, it's a long day. It's looking bleak, but it's like I'm not gonna be. Yeah, we are gonna get packed three, four, five. No, no. But in regards to consistency, no, we are literally the the win one, lose one, draw one team. That's us. I'm saying win, lose, draw. percent FC. Th actually, draw. Three, 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 yeah, three, yeah. Three, draw three, a game. Then we'll win yeah. a couple. Then we'll lose yeah, a couple, man. and then we'll draw one. Type, type yeah. of shit. Look at this. Thing we'll make continue yeah. as well, man. Yeah. This fucking guy. Yeah. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Man, I hate. I hate. The reason why I also asking this because like, I'm literally talking about in a cube in a different group. Yeah. Talking about United's don't United have less goals than 
Luton Town, that's that's zero goal difference in like 29 yeah. games. Yes, what did you still, think about and yet, the game? Yet they still, and, and yet they still, and they still, and yet they still six. Well, you know, the only team that has a zero goal difference in the whole league. <laughs> <laughs> this is on. This is what I'm talking about. The devil on their badge, bro, is crazy. I'm telling you, I'm telling it's because, you. Because it, it's because everyone lowered the six their cheeks. That's why. Yeah, that's what this I'm league saying. is. Yeah, if the league if, is just. If, yeah. if it was any other season, they'll, they'll probably be like. Hey. My years, my years of spreading the truth about this league are finally coming to fruition for everyone to see, and it's beautiful. It is absolutely wait. What, what's coming to fruition? What, what, what? Say that, <laughs> that, that, league, that the league is overrated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get mistaken. Like, I, I agree with that. Like, that's not like it's great in terms of ent- again, people get the two things mixed up. A league can be entertaining, but not quality. Same awful. way, two teams at a league can be quality, but not entertaining. Oh, yeah, like, the game so to- entertaining today. At yeah, the Etihad, didn't it? Oh, no, 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 we're talking league, for- but the thing is, no, it wasn't entertaining, but was it quality from a defensive standpoint? Yes. 50% of that game was supreme quality. You will not see two teams defensively well drilled like that in you probably won't see that all for the you won't you won't see that from now to the end of the season. We're not seeing that this season. Two teams that good yeah, defensively. So in terms of quality, 50% of it was they're arguably the two two with the two best defensive teams in the league. Yeah. Arguably Europe. But it's just that the but is it entertaining? No. Same way if you got to a game that's free free or four four, the quality might not be the best, but it's entertaining. Yeah. What makes you say the league is overrated, flawless? Just want to know because people mix up two things and think just because a league, just because something is entertaining, does not make it quality. Like the same way I think Fast and Furious, I find supremely entertaining. Is yeah. it quality yeah. acting and a quality film and a it's quality story? Yeah. No. Of course yeah. you would say that because you're you, Ryan. But no, it's Obviously, fast food. They're the best films that like, are made in history. It's like, yeah, you would say that. It's like, it's, a, it's, it's like, it's like, they were... <laughs> How is that? Funny? Just because that's the most wildest take ever, but it's you, so we're not surprised. Um, all the Best all the classic films, films out there, all all the classic films out there, and Fast and Furious make sure. Oh, a classic film your top five. hype! Oh my But word. um, but you think Fast and Furious is a classic film? Best films ever made. Exactly. So you think it's classic? So how's it a classic film hype when you think it's a classic film? Do you think before you speak, or do you just say whatever comes to your brain first? Because the foremost? movies you say over it are shit anyway. Right. What films do I say over it that are shit? Name them. Oh, you, you! I remember you said them, but I forgot what. Oh. So name them, so you don't know what you're oh talking about. And it's films <laughs> you never watched. <laughs> you told me the ones that I remember. Yeah, exactly. But it's films it's you never like, watched, so you would remember. Like, it's like it's like it's like, uh, like what Kendall said. Kendall like, was right, man. Head, if you knock on his head once again, if you knock on yeah, his I'm, head, yeah, and you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that clip. I'm gonna get that screenshot and put that up. Kendall yeah, was right. It was a screen. I played a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So you, so how? See, that's you. You will criticize a film you've never watched because I like it. Hey, no. hey, Ryan, Ryan, when you said Fast and Furious is 16 out of 10. You never, you never, you've never seen, you've never watched Friday. Out of 10, mate. You've never watched Friday, but he'll tell you Fast and Furious is better than Friday. Yeah, yeah but I'm saying it's Friday. You've never watched Friday? Of course he's never. not rich, Friday. Yeah. I don't, don't watch it. movies, I watch football. No, no, it's not you. I'm talking about no, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Ryan. I'm talking about Ryan will say, oh, it's better, but he's never watched it. He's never seen Training Day. What are we talking about here? You've never seen Training Day? He's never seen these classics. Jesus but shame. in regards to your question, like it's kind of like um, <laughs> it's like it's like it's like McDonald's. That's what it is. It's fast food. That's oh, what that's what the Premier League is very much like. Keep How's thrilled. it disrespectful when I like McDonald's? I like the fact. How is it disrespectful? Wait, wait, wait. How's it disrespectful when I like these things I'm mentioning? I like McDonald's and I like Fast and Furious. When Fast and Furious is dropped, I'm gonna go food. cinema see it. It is fast food. I like fast food. Why is that this? Why is that disrespectful? No, bro, it's gourmet, bro. So why is it disrespectful? I don't get fast that. If I like fast food, it's fa- it's, I like it's fast gourmet, food. Though. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful to you. I like fast food. I'm a fan. I like fast food. I love fast food. I bought McDonald's today. I might go. I might go. I might go get some McDonald's tonight. Now that I've mentioned it, this get that large French fry, that plain McChicken, the chocolate milkshake. Look at this guy. Uh, big up Kevin Lewis G in the cut as well. I was saying. Big up everyone. Hey, 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 big up. Hey, Tony, man's just uncultured. Don't watch that. He's never seen Friday, so it's like we're not like. This is what I'm saying. But he would have used me memes cultured. from there. That's How the crazy. Uncultured? Yes, uncultured. Yes. Because you've never seen Friday. Oh, that's why you're uncultured. Because you haven't seen that film, you're suddenly uncultured. Yes. 
right. you've never seen Friday, because you've never seen Training Day. If we name favorite films, guarantee you've not probably not seen most people's majority. Much and I even a big film watcher. He's never seen Boys in the Hood. He didn't see Ricky get shot. I don't know about these things. And watch uh, Bad Boys for Life. <laughs> I ain't never seen this shit. This is over his head. It's like we talking a different language to man. Dude, you probably didn't even see. You probably didn't even see like yeah, Talladega Nights. That's like, fucking. Is, and I'm not even a big film watcher like that. But the certain I'm shit is either. just like it's just from a culture standpoint. But he would have used memes from it. That's the crazy part. I say, but hey, we move. But hey, run up the likes, people. Hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff as well. Uh, Andy says, if City don't win the league, is there a possibility City let the Bruyne go and revamp their squad? I can see it happening regardless. Well, you think he goes in the summer? Like to Saudi. Mm -hmm. I think... Yeah, this is KDB. Yes. Yeah, I think he's mentally checked out already. Really? Uh -huh. yeah. Talk about it. No, yeah. I think that's a bit too... I, I think, no, mentally... Well, this is the first I'm hearing of him leaving. No, he's, we're um, just talking about it from a, from a hypothetical standpoint because people have mentioned it in regards to the injuries, his age, etc., etc. It may be that. I think he's mentally... Listen, I don't, I don't know anything on the inside. I'm just saying... Um, I think I think he's mentally I think he's mentally checked out. I don't think he's he's won everything he needs to win, isn't it? I don't think his mind's there anymore. He's done everything he needs to do. I was just looking at him today. Obviously, I know Arsenal are a very good team, but he didn't. He looked a bit lack lackluster. Maybe he's lost a bit of pace because of his injury. I don't know. But it either looks like he's not trying or he's slowed down. Either or, either or, it leads to him not being here next season. That's look for that's for someone else to replace him. Where do you think he'll go? Saudi. America. America. You reckon he just calls it quits in Europe altogether? Yeah. He don't, goes, like Saudi, Barcelona, he don't try a Barcelona thing or something? Nah, he either goes Saudi America or back to Belgium to retire. Cool. I don't think... What do you got for us next? What's up, facts? <laughs> no, 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 no. Look no. at you, you crook, man. I can see you a mile off, man. You know what I'm saying? What's up on you for that tweet, fatter, bruv? Yeah, he got me on here with it as well. Like, I literally just fired up my yeah, laptop. I was like, no way, 12 off. I can't, be I, I can't, be <laughs> I can't believe it, man. You know what? It's, it's like being tricked by like Junior from My Wife and Kids. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Hey, this guy, first, first he's drinking, now he's lying on Ramadan. Crazy. <laughs> on Ramadan, you know. Fuck, so, it's all mad. Why? But yeah, that's strong claims, though, Victor, in regards to him leaving still. Like, I could see them letting him go. It depends, like, what is City's plan? What did they do? Foden has the time. No, no, no. In regards to when I say their plans, in regards to is it De Bruyne or the others go? Does Bernardo, because Bernardo Silva almost left this summer. Do you then let De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva go in the same summer? Considering no, no, the, no, the no, impact no. that letting the players they've had because they didn't manage to replace Mares and Gundogan. No, yeah. That only happens. I think that if KDB and Pep go, then yeah. But if Pep is still there, I think it plays a massive, massive factor. I think. Yeah, we're I talking think, about Pep leaving. I have a replacement. They yeah, no, I'm saying no. Pep's not leaving. I'm not saying Pep's leaving. I'm just saying if There's KDB leaves, I think I, I think the players will still stay because of Pep. I don't think the players are there because of KDB. They'll probably stay because of Pep. And I, no, the players I'm, will stay. I'm just saying the impact that it will have on the squad potentially in terms of quality. But yeah, that's just me. Yeah, I think C will find someone. Man, they always do. They'll find. They'll find someone to. Uh, Maybe not the first season to be that guy, but it will take a while for that guy to get into a pep system. Like we said the same with with, with um, Fernandinho when he left. They're like, oh, we're gonna replace him. Rodri's Rodri's done that in like two years, a year or two years. So they'll find someone. Hmm. I trust the scout department to find someone. Anyway. I hate you. I get what you're saying. It's it's it's, it's one of them. It's because of that. It's because of how bad it's gone for them this summer. That's what it is. With the right with Gundogan and Myers leaving for now, no, it's yeah, but no. bad for now can cost you a couple of league titles. Like, I think it's, I think if they don't win the league title or the champions, put it this way if you put Gundogan and Myers in this, they do the treble again. Yeah. That's the difference, yeah, possibly, but they could still do a treble this year with them. But what I'm no, saying is, if they don't, don't, I'm looking at that. I don't think they will, I don't Absolutely. think they get past Real Madrid. No, nah, well, Real Madrid beat them. Real Madrid Steve. beat them. I Steve. guarantee. Go on, Steve. What go do you on, think of that Kovacic signing? That's a very good signing. You think? Well, he's not Gundogan, though. He's not Gundogan. He doesn't have to be because, you know what? The three players that they have in midfield, who could score? All right, so here's the three attributes that are stand out of Ilkay Gundogan. 
Mm. Scores goals in clutch moments. Has Rodri done that? Yes or no? Maybe not to the volume, but has he shown to do that? Rodri, has he scored clutch goals for Man City before? Yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. 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 there's one attribute. So there's one attribute of Gundawan that yeah. Rodri can do. Number two of Gundawan can control, on the same scale though. Control, it's not on the control, same scale. Control, control, and dictate. But they're not, but they're not the same. Yeah, it's, it's, but they're not the same. No, but like Gund but Rodri's not. Rodri, Rodri's not. Wait, 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 hold up. Rodri's not. Rod Rodri's not the Gundogan replacement. Yeah. Co Kovacic is no, nowhere near the same. He's saying the. Now he he's saying that um. Quality. Even, even 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 if Gundogan is not there anymore, because and Kovacic it came in, not nah. because each, each individual can kind of replace things about each other. But what but I, I, what I was about to say, what I was about to say, but yeah, even if just. that's the case, where even if Gundogan goes, there's other players that got individually skills of Gundogan that they can still implement into their team. My issue is is that even though if even if that's true, my issue is that. You would rather have the player that has all these tools together already instead of for one guy that has only one good skill of Gundogan. Gundogan had everything, and I think this is an issue where you and also what is also most important is is that Rodri played with Gundogan for multiple years together, so you build again chemistry as well, which you have to renew. Which you see, yeah. I think Kovacic has been decent for them. I don't think he's been like anything incredible or he's yeah. been anything close. But I think, but, but but still. I still believe if the Gundogan will stay, you see that you see in major differences to when Kovacic in the pitch because he's also the better player. But again, it's like like I said, it's like I agree with Flores in terms of let's see to the end of the season because this is where it all comes down to. If City yes. goes, if City goes to the season and only win the FA Cup, that's a failure of the season for them. And we yeah. will look back and say that how Guardiola didn't turn out in terms of helping them win the trophy that they're supposed to be winning. Um, Kovacic didn't help to do that. And also the players on the team that were already there didn't do the job. Because let's be honest, the expectation for them each season, the expectation for them each season is win the league. It's not competing, it's actually win the league title and win the Champions League because they're good enough to do that. What I'm saying is I was gonna say before you carry on, just just one quick thing. Who did Valio replace? Who did they let go? I was just asking just to clarify my mind. Yeah, go on, Steve. That's just, just what it is. I'm what I was, here, here's the thing that people get tripped up on. It was, And I referenced it earlier when I was talking about Rice left West Ham. They need they, – they don't need a Declan Rice replacement. They need to find someone to replace Rice. Those are two different <laughs> things for me. Someone yeah, to yeah. replace Rice is a midfielder with certain yeah. qualities that he has, some other different ones, some weaknesses. But you're talking about a team that are mid-table. We're talking about a team yeah, here in City. Yeah, 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 yeah but hold on, but hold on, but hold on. So, like I said, there's a difference between... There's what a the difference hell? between... That was me. Sorry, I'm just saying oh. messing around. Don't worry about it. Yeah, ignore me. Oh, no, ignore me. There's a difference for me between replacing Ilkay Gundogan and yeah. finding a player... To replace Ilkay Gundo or play yours with attributes that Ilkay Gundawan brought to the team. So yeah. Rodri has to score a few more goals in clutch moments, just like Gundawan did. Has he shown to do that? Yeah. Yes, not to the volume, but of and that's some and that's the point I'm making. He's not and that, no, the and, volume, right. then. and that's what we're talking about in regards to put it this way. To me, if you put Gundogan and Maris in the side, City win the league hand like they're ahead right now. Because I think they're better players yeah. than what they have in those in those scenarios. Yeah. That's the like, point Doku we're making. Are we, not, are, are we right. nitpicking? Doku, yes, because I actually think I actually think Kovacic is a I actually think Kovacic is a good player. Is he gonna yes. though? No, no, he's, he's not, not gonna get. And that's not, the point that I'm making. That Doku, can, he can do yeah. a job to an extent, but doing a job and being a level below could be the difference in you winning the league or not winning the yeah. league. We are talking about what's the, what's the difference now at the top of the table? Liverpool are top. Arsenal two points back and three points back. It's, it's, so, uh, City is three points. Oh, City is three points behind okay. um, Liverpool, and Arsenal is two points behind. Uh, weren't they behind last year, though? No, 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 no. Arsenal. The point I'm making is here: the fine margins we are talking about two, two, they three were, points. Two teams though. Last the, year. The, the point, yeah. The point that I'm making is we're talking two, two, three points. This could go down to goal difference. This could come down yeah. to a point. We come down to two points, and this is where your key players, and we were talking about Arsenal being respected before, is in regards to getting your plaudits. Because we are going to nitpick. If Arsenal win the league, 
we are going to look at all the things City did wrong and all the things Liverpool did wrong. If City win the league, it's for the other two. If Liverpool win the league, it's for the other two. What do we do? When Liverpool, not all Liverpool fans did it, but the sensible ones, I did it. When they lost the league by one point, what do we go look at? The games where they drop points. Where else do we go look at? What players didn't do their business? Like that's what you're looking at, because this is where you're. This is where you're. You are. You become a superstar. This is yeah. what it is. And even though Kovacic is a good replacement, he's not Gundogan. So if they fall he's short, not, he's not, not only not only are you looking at Kovacic, you're looking at who decided to go get him as the replacement. Because let's but say you got the best. But say you. That's the point. Say yeah. you got a better replacement than Kovacic, who's not as good as Gundogan, but he's better than Kovacic, and you win yeah. the league. Guess what? You'll get the plaudits for bringing him in. It's tough. Yeah. Don't get mistaken, because Gundogans are not just out there. Myers exactly. is that's not just out there. Again, they're not. But yeah. what do I always say? You have an extremely tough job as a scout and recruitment, but you're paid extremely well. You're a millionaire. Facts. Go and do it. Facts. Because if you do it, guess what? You get plot like Rodri, whoever found Rodri for the Fernandinho thing, you're getting your plot. Because replacing Fernandinho is extremely tough, but they did it. Yo, did they do it to a better level? It's tough. And by the way, that's, that's my biggest thing with... Shout out, Ryan, man. Shout out, Kendall, as well. Real one. But yeah, shout out, Ryan. Yeah. That's <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. <laughs> that was the one I was talking about. <laughs> If I knock your head, you'll echo, you know. <laughs> this is great. That's this crazy. is the realest shit Kendall ever said, yo, in life. <laughs> Look at De Niro's face. Shout out, shout out, Kendall. Man. <laughs> 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 De Niro just bad disappointed. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I was gonna say something on Steve's point, yeah, and why I think conversation oh, shit, shit, is not it's not oh shit signing, mm. but it's not a good one. Even when even when Gundogan was there, Rodri was still scoring the clutch goals. He was still yeah. doing it. He was still doing it when he wasn't there. Yeah. So Gundogan, Gundogan just added that extra factor. Him. Obviously, we use the word aura and all that shit, but like he had in in that dressing room, he had so much like leadership. He had so much um, authority in that dressing room that no one really understands how much. Oh, I sound like a city fan right now, but like he had so he had so much. Um, Are you talking from a control. football fan perspective? Yeah, yeah, no, cool. yeah. He had, he had so much control in that changing room. That's that that they lost that they've they've not found yet in that team, and I think that's the difference it made. And we expected people like KDB and Ruben Diaz to probably step up and be those guys. Carl Walker's probably that guy. But again, these players were here last season. Like, yeah. And, and they didn't really do much. But he's, Gundogan was, Gundogan, apart from a footballing perspective, they lost Gundogan more than like just in football. Like a locker room presence. We in the locker room, the locker room presence room that Gundogan had in that, in that team was immense. That's probably what led them to the treble. And they've not brought in a player or the players who are there right now have not, have not been that, not been those players to do that, to kind of put the stamp and be, you know, Turned that guy. In, head in, with in, echo, you know. <laughs> Sorry, to, it, be, to be that guy in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> just a tin can rolling around up there, yo. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> no, you know that I mean in the Simpsons where the guys, the monkey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The monkey with the two symbols. Yeah, 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 yeah. Backflips. Yeah. Without yeah. doubt, yo. Backflips, Without yeah, doubt. Let me get to a couple questions before we do and do close out as well. All right, let's see where we're at. Oof. Let's see. Um, hold up, hold up. Big up to Andy. We did speak on this earlier, but we'll get to it. He says, was it too harsh, Roy Keane's comments on Haaland's general play of a League 2 player? Yeah, I think he's better than a League 2 player, but he needs to improve his overall game. Yes. I think so, definitely. It can't just be a goal-scoring thing. He needs them. City didn't help him today, though. Don't get him mistaken. Like, same way Havertz did no less than him, but Havertz got no help. Like, from an offensive standpoint, like, the midfielders and wingers and creative players gave them nothing. Normally, we criticise in Haaland, it's for, missing, it's for missing chances. But, like, they gave him nothing. Now, Haaland does need to do more, yes. If you're as good as everyone says you are and you're world-class generational talent, all of these plaudits and all of these um, mm. verbs to describe you, deliver. And I think some of the criticism is over yeah. the top, but that's because people are tired of City, so I hear it. I'm tired of yeah. these men too. So oh, yeah. I need to, to keep going. No, no, this like, keep going. Hey, city, yeah, like, keep keep like, as, long, as long as Tottenham is not the, up there, yeah, let me, I, I don't even play. care who wins the league as long as it's not Villa, yeah, yeah, because you don't have, yeah, because you don't have any like rivals yeah. in that huh? top three. Like, well, it's because, so like, you, if, if, if Sunderland was right now in the title race, you wouldn't care. No, and I don't really care because I'm one of those people, mm. and Tony Claude knows this for years. Like, I'm not, I don't rate Arteta mm. yet. Do I think he's good? Yeah. Do I think he belongs at Real Betis? Also, 
Yeah. So, no, that's and you know what? If I get put in the fucking mud for that and they win the league, whatever, bro. Whatever. So, I don't really yeah. care. So, it would be yeah, funny to see the Arsenal fans online terrorizing. No, no, yeah. I care, bro. I care, bro. bro. See, and I would love to see that. I'm, 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 a, I'm a creature of chaos. I am a Darwin Nunez. Yeah, see, yeah, see, you know see I, I, that's, a, that's like, I, I, I would call myself um, a popular maker, too. But it only goes so far. If I see Austin win the league title, yeah, this yeah, year, yeah, and I'm here I'm for be, I'm gonna be off just for you, just for you, just for you, just to see how you would take it. Yeah. You know, take it like a man or like a beta man. You know? what, 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 I'm, not, I'm not gonna. I'm not, obviously I'm not gonna go OT and cry and shit. I'm just not gonna be on Twitter. Right, but <laughs> simple as stuff. Yeah. 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 If I can do it in Twitter for a week. No, right. if, I still, if I still win the league, like, I'm like, all right, cool. Let me rack up all these views from Arsenal fans telling me how wrong I was. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Numbers going to go through the fucking roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah if I'm looking at money perspective, innit? Yeah, going I'm, through I'm, the, I'm looking at sanity. Come that's on. the only it's the only benefit to it is like and then obviously TJ and Tony and the rest of the Arsenal lot be like, yeah, you lot throw an Arsenal party on here. I won't be here. You lot run it. And you know, all <laughs> Arsenal fans are is same with Liverpool. Say you got no fans like that, so it don't really matter too tough. But yeah, like, yeah, that's it. obviously, yeah, the uh, noise, yeah, yeah. Vader. yeah, the noise is different. It is hey, hey, this one. Oh they yeah, I don't think they will. I don't I think they will. After, after that's my areas, man. Yeah, that's, hey, that's AJB, yo, AJ, write your uh, question again. I will get to it before we close that, out. Yeah, that's, that's why I want to get to win the league because guess what? See, see, you have a documentary coming out tomorrow about with them when you're in trouble, but no one gives a fuck because no one cares. cares. No one will be talking about it. No one, no one knows they've got a documentary coming out because no one gives a fuck. They want a yeah. trouble and everyone forgot in a week. Why are we talk? Why why'd you bring it up then? I'm just they're saying just that I, I don't care. I don't care if they win the league, if they win the league again. Because nah, I don't care about fuck, fuck city, but I hear you. Uh do you Bro, think we live, Pep... we live in the same city? I don't hear shit. Big up Andy says, Do you think Pep struggles to embed players outside the starting eleven even when injuries happen? No, I think their system is I think it's easy. I think it's very simple. I just think the players are not doing the business. Like today wasn't like I I don't look at Pep and go yeah that was on you, like yo is the attackers he set them up how he sets them up and how they score goals and creating all these things and why we wax lyrical maybe you could say the fullback area, maybe you play Rico Lewis and I'm trying to think Kyle Walker's injured have they got any other fullbacks? They, no, maybe really. that. No, That's not it. Really. So that we're thing. talking maybe him playing Rico alone. Lewis. Yeah, maybe you could say that. But other than that, he played Rodri. De Bruyne, Foden, Bernardo, Silva, Haaland. Like, I, that's I, the team I, that everyone was like, yeah, run that. Kovacic is out there. Maybe you could. Well, other than that. This. I don't know about you yeah. guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sheik. We're running clubs. We're running clubs. And yeah, Rance, I agree. Arsenal ain't winning shit. And the meltdown. We will be there for the meltdown. That is the best thing. One day, blood. We will have all day. Hilarious. And you know what else would be funny about Arsenal winning? Because whenever I go on Lewis's channel, everybody will be tweaking. Everybody will yeah, be why do you want to wish that that shit? Hey, hey, Lu, 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 I'm just to, saying, this, 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 I, bro, hey, this, I be chilling, I be chilling in your club, in your hood, a lot. So your hood going crazy would be amusing. Wouldn't you? We, we go crazy every week, bro. We're eleventh. Why do you want to add exactly. to that? Exactly. So adding another element of Shut up, mind bro. fuck. I just want to see you suffer. Yeah, you said it, man. Yeah. Of course, I don't want to see you suffer. I want to, I, bro. I don't I care know. who wins the league. So I don't. I'm yeah, we, you first. know what? You know what? Everybody oh, else here does care. How about that? Exactly. Well, 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 I'm just saying, no, well, I I'm hope Sunderland get Saudi owners. <laughs> yeah, well, that's <laughs> happening. They already, you know what's funny about Sunderland? They already I hope Sunderland, Sunderland win trophies before you, you pussy. Relax, yo, relax. Uh, Pep needed to take off Haaland and De, uh, De Bruyne and leave Foden and Kovalev. I mean, Kovalev, Kovacic off. I figured of the box. He's thinking of the box, so that's why I said Kovalev. That's what's going to my mind. Shout out, Kovacic. shout out, Brands. Maybe play, maybe play Alvarez. You know what I'm saying through the night. I just don't yeah, think Rance. they was going to do anything. But shout out to Rants. You like make sure you subscribe to Rants again. You should like you shouldn't Kovalev. be under a if you're under a rock. Make sure shout out Kovalev. I was also correct. Yeah. Kovalev. All right, what was it? Kovalev. Yeah, Kovalev. we knew what he meant. It's all good. <laughs> all correct. It's all it's all good. Rants. Uh, Harland and the Spliff, bro. Come on, you gooners. Hey, big up Orion Goon, man. Big up Dow every single time, man. Steve, this is why. Steve, this is why. This is why. This is why these men. You drink that Kool Aid. Steve, Steve, Steve. This is why these men can't win. 
No, let's this is so why they talk can't about win it. the league, bro. Steve, talk this is why it, they can't win the league, bro. These guys hey, are he's putting, like, he's putting money in Flawless's bank account, man. Right, Steve. I'm here to support my brother. I'm here to support my brother right now. I'm trying to get money in his bank account. I will hunt you down and chop you in the face, Steve. I will hunt yeah. you down. Come <laughs> over, fly over, motherfucker. Hi, hi, hi. All right, oh, look at this. Look at this. Be from, be from Plymouth to Kansas City. Yeah, yeah, on site. Yeah, 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 yeah. We all do that. <laughs> this fucking on site, man. Look at Egypt, man. From Plymouth to Kansas City. Yeah, man. What I'm saying? I don't live maybe, in Kansas City. Maybe, 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 maybe Kansas Kendall was right about both of you lot, man. If it knocked on your head, it would echo. Plymouth to Kansas City, bro. I'm dying, man. Steve is part of that. It's man. Yeah, can't see yeah, once once two once his tweet. Oh, uh, it? Oh, the spicy Victor Moses, yeah, that's that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. That's freaking yeah. crazy. Yeah. Spicy Victor Moses. Um, the, the god the god child, the god child. Uh, right <laughs> wing. Yeah. Spicy Victor Moses. Wait, I, I said already, man. I said already. Saka left wing, maybe as a creator. You will see what you will see what we maybe can do out there for him. You mean left wing? And you know what, Warrior J? Left we will go left here. Left. Hey, AJB, my Ooh. bad. I didn't start. Ask the, ask the question again, AJB. I got you. Members, if you asked any questions I didn't get to, um, what was that? What was I gonna say? Write them again, people. Keen called Harland a two league two burler, but when it's me, I'm a hate or Saka is Victor Moses with A levels. Damn. Tell him how you really feel. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him how you really feel. Hey, man. I've some of the Saka for me. All right, but let's let's actually go to um We'll go midweek fixtures, actually. Let, let's go. Mm, uh, let's, let's go there. We'll let's get everyone's go, predictions. So tomorrow, actually, starting with you, Steve. Newcastle 11. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking hell. We got to... We, our attack can carry us. Yeah, yeah, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Fucking hell. 3-2. 3-2. Two. Two Newcastle. 2 Newcastle. Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do this because uh, because Steve is a donor. So I'm gonna go <laughs> one no Everton because Steve joined the the Sean Dyche Arteta Bandits. So obviously, that was the last right. time anyone kept it. Right, let me get through this. Yo, yes, yes. Yeah, Newcastle. Who, 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 Newcastle, Newcastle Everton. Yeah, yeah, Newcastle. Um, I, I say I say one one. You got all right. Cool. Fight, yeah. Is Fat even there? Yo, Fat, are you there? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of two streams at once, you know. Newcastle eleven. One nil Everton. <laughs> cool. Let's go. Lewis. Uh one nil Newcastle. No, three one Newcastle. Three one Newcastle. Victor. Uh yeah, two one Newcastle. Yeah, and yes, we are running clubs as well, people. Two on Newcastle. All right, cool. Let me see. We ain't going through all the games because some of these games is like, yeah. No, let's we'll go, go through our just... No, def... no, West Ham, West Ham, Tottenham. I'll, I'll, just... I'll give you my predictions. Then. Yeah, afterwards, let us run through this and then you can give us the rest. West Ham, Tottenham. Jess, you there? Yeah, even there. Lewis, West Ham, Tottenham. Two teams. Uh, you know, um, two on West Ham. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, yeah. Yeah, look for Amy's up. You heard Amy's name would pop back up quick, you know. <laughs> what do you say? No, 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 no. I, I, I was changing, I was changing picture. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Ch sure. Check the picture, though. Check yeah, the picture, yeah, yeah, sure. Because you have to mute yourself to change the picture, but we move. Lewis, what you talk, say? Talk, sorry, well, I, yeah, anyways, two um, West Ham. Do you want West Ham? What are you saying, just West Ham? I, 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 I need a win, bro. I need a win. I need my get back from earlier I this season. Like so I say, I say, I say. I say 3 1. 3 1. Cool. Facts. West Ham Spurs. Um, no, no. Victor. Um, Olympic Stadium under the lights. West Ham look, looking for the get back after losing to Newcastle. Yeah, man. This stinks of a 2 2. Cool. De Niro. Yeah, I'm with just still 3 1. Spurs. It's 3 1 Spurs. Okay, back in the Spurs, Steve. Yeah, come on, man. It's... 3 0 Spurs. Cool. We all got Arsenal beating Luton, right? So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. De Niro? 
So I'm, even, I'm, I'm even going to do what I do with the Tottenham one. I'm going to even go with a big scoreline for City still. I'm going to give City a 4 1 still. 4 1, okay, first. Victor? Yeah, I'm Villa. Uh, um, 3 1 City. Hmm. Fats? 3 2 Man City. Cool. Lewis? 3 1 City. Jez? 2 1 City. City. Let's see. All right, just to clarify, we all got Liverpool beating Sheffield United, yeah? Yeah, 100%. All right. Is it yeah. Anfield? I've got, Anfield, I've yeah. got one now. Yeah, 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 man. Barbecue yeah. chicken. One yeah. nothing. Okay. 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 All right. Chelsea, Chelsea, Manchester United. Just. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> hey, Carlos, you said you weren't doing the yeah. trash games of the week. What the hell are we doing? Come on. Yeah, but it happens to be it's my, it's my trash. You know my what trash we no, 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 no. Don't get mistaken. We, no, no, no. No, no. We trashing a gold bag. You know, respect us, all right? We, we trash a platinum bag. You see that meme? It says I'm a different level. You're a beat up. You're a beat up. You get your turn. You're a beat up. You get your turn, man. Hey, Steven, no it's, your turn, your turn, it's my turn right now. You're going to get some. You're going to get some. All right, but, um, all right, all right. Go on. Um, Chelsea, 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 Man United. Oh, fucking hell. I think it's a 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Hey, Victor, invite me to that party as well. Um, yeah. On, on the, yeah, yeah. Lewis? The most Chelsea, putrid, Manchester United. disgusting, disgraceful 1-1 one, one draw where both of us come out this game look, feeling like shit. Facts. Facts. No, no. Victor. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a Lewis man. It's gonna be the worst one one I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's that's why I think it's gonna be an absolutely horrific one one. Dedero. Yeah, one one ban Chelsea. Uh, uh, Steve. But Lewis, you know what? But I have a question. I have a question though for Lewis though, because let me get Steve's prediction yeah. and then ask him. Go okay, on, yeah, go yeah, on, you know what happened the last time they played? We were all relax, man. Relax. Two to one Chelsea. What score? Two to one Chelsea. First, first. I right, go on, go on, just yeah. So uh, so obviously Chelsea, Chelsea are um what at 40 points right now. And yeah. you might carry on one sec. Do, do, do you do you and Chelsea want think that you are getting Europe at this stage of the season? No chance, bro. Impossible. This fucking jazz guy. <laughs> by the grace, oh, by oh, the no, grace I'll ask of I want some questions. By the grace of God, we might. Well, only if God wants us to. But in terms of Chelsea, it, I don't believe in us anymore. We we couldn't be a ten man Burnley team without their manager. I don't have confidence for any game coming up now. Even yeah. Sheffield actually, United actually, away on the I, weekend. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't watch the game. Um, can you can Good. you actually explain what actually happened? Because like, I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, same. I didn't even watch uh, the game myself. Yeah. yeah. Explain. First that. ten minutes we weren't great. Probably Burnley were the better team. Then we grew into it. Had a couple of chances. Well, not half chances of anything. Nothing that nothing that was a big howler in terms of misses. But we never had the game in any sort of real control. Then we get the penalty to play, uh, manager and I think the right back gets sent off. It should be easy from there. Can see the banger, to be honest, straight after half time. Amazing. And goal. then we just don't know how to break them down. Okay. We bring on Sterling, him, Enzo and Palmer link up well for a goal. We should be opening them up a bit more from that. But we concede off a set piece straight after which we were threatening to concede from all game because we struggle with defensive set pieces and yeah we couldn't break down at burnley we couldn't break down burnley at home down to 10 men so the yeah, players got hold the hold the hold hold hold. Hold. so do you so this is a thing where like if you had to give a percentage split on who's to play do you give it like more to the manager or kind of equal to the players or even more the players because like because you're saying 10 man burnley do I do think there's a level where I look at it and say, just if you have any sort of self pride as a player, y'all should be looking at Burnley and say, these are ten man. The manager got sent off. You man, let's let's go and get the stub you. Or do You're you think, home. Much, or at home as well? So do you think, or do you still think the manager takes more blame because it's a consistent problem all season? It's a bit of both, to be honest. That's why I kind of stick on the fifty fifty with this game because. Mm. We yet again can't break down a low block, which is a typical Poch problem. 
Defensive set pieces, another potch problem. The lack of attacking structure, a potch problem. So that's all on him. But, I mean, it's a 19th place Burnley team down to 10 men. Like, I can only blame him to a certain point. Like, seriously, mm -hmm. do, do you really need your hand held to win that game? No. So, like, the players got to hold it as well. Bar mm -hmm. um Palmer, Palmer to a point Enzo. Everyone else, not good enough. And they all got to take the <clears> blame <throat> as well. But it's, it's got to be spread. It's got to be spread. They all failed as a collective on Saturday. Mm. You started in midfield, Lewis. Um, it was Enzo, Caicedo, and Gallagher. Okay, okay. Gallagher, by the way, was... one of the worst performances of the season from him. Well, <laughs> like I said, like I said on Saturday, on I said stream. it's always bar this player, bar that player, because guess what? Some individuals can have a good game. Yeah. In spite of the team playing poorly, yeah. it's shocking yeah. that, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes you sports. win. That's that's the beauty with team sports. Sometimes you can win seven nothing, but one guy plays like dog shit. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can win seven nothing and everyone plays bad somehow. We had a whole seven nil against Norwich and Havert still stunk up top and got zero GNA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we had two yeah. league wait, wait. wins in the first six months of Enzo, and he was still one of our best players consistently. Yeah. yeah so it's hey, not work, work, not work, work quick though. Um, shout out to Marshall and Kashley SC as well. For the rate as well, AJ. big up as well. Make sure, yeah, uh, some, yeah AJ put yeah. AJ put already the link in the chat. Um, so go go over to Casually FC and subscribe to the mandem over there as well. Big up to you, Marshall. You fraud, but um, <laughs> yeah, man. Big up, but yeah, no, now I'm with the this the Chelsea team because obviously I I think I said the multiple points before. I think Poch is done. He's cooked. Dude yeah. is going back to Argentina, whatever. But uh. I look at sometimes at these up. players. I still, I still look at these players sometimes, and I still think there needs to be a level of self pride where I say, you know what, yeah. let me step up to a level. Even though and I also think the manager's a beta male, by the way. So who gives a yeah, fuck I'm, if you go against his orders? He's a beta male bitch yeah. that gets chained up by oh, his wife. God, bro. Tell us how you exactly. feel. I mean, shit, oh, I don't even feel relaxed, man. No, 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 no. Yeah. no. Because you know damn well that's what Pochettino is. He's a beta male relax, bitch, man. bro. No, 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 against his instructions. But no, 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 I don't think I don't think he's yeah. a beta male. I, I think he is a beta male. No, 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 no. I think I don't. I don't think. I don't think. Is I don't there think any level be below beta? Yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna go there. We're not gonna go there. Supreme, a supreme cock, Adam Twenty Two. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's oh him. Punch oh, oh, Twenty Two. Punch oh, no, no, Twenty Two, bro. That's Yo, we're so it. Punch Twenty Two. Punch Twenty Two. Hey, so but, actually, but, yeah, you know, the players. Mister, all gains to Wembley's an achievement. And he tried to say exactly. we go to finals to win. No, a no, team, this is the thing, this is the thing that I want to say, though. Prick. This is what I say to say, though. But even though I hear what you're trying to say, for him, technically, he's not wrong in his mind. He thinks that way. Like, he, it's, a, it's a right to say that at Chelsea Football Club? Hell no. But this is what this dude thinks, isn't it? So it's like, ah, hey, yes, Brian, he's man. the wrong guy for this job. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but tell that you own us. Tell that you own us. I hear it. Us. I've been you honest, you honest, you honest don't want to take take my other hey, at this point. It doesn't no, matter. And let's, yeah, let's, be point, let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let, let's be honest. Abu, let's be honest. If this dude someone wins the FA Cup, he's staying. I'm convinced. He's staying. He's I, staying. I, I don't season. think he's staying. I, I, I think he's staying if he wins the FA Cup. He, he, might, he might. He might. He might. I'm convinced. I'm convinced he's staying. I'm not saying he's going to stay like over the whole course of the second season. I'm saying he's going to be at least there for the start of the second season. Actually, well, what am I worried about? We play Man City in the semis. Like, we're even getting through that. I mean, shit. I mean, you nearly beat them the last time. Man, yeah, dude. yeah. Did we? <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> don't, fuck up, don't fuck up versus Man City if that goes. <laughs> That's yes. it. Yeah, yeah, we could have beaten them. And then my manager thought, oh, we've got a very good structure here at the Etihad. You know what I'm going to do? Change it. Oh, we've conceded. Idiots. I, I, I was sure Marshall said it as well. Hey, based to the data, you should be top four right now. <laughs> That based on the data stuff that I've seen from Chelsea aggregate Twitter accounts is brainwashing. That is some... That is some ice spice level. It's of copium. Bro. It's copium. It's not just copium. It's some, yeah, see, see, some see, see, propaganda, bro. See, 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 see,
and put Based it on the, the data. It's, 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 the during to a 10 man Burnley is is a imminent hey, 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 that's that's it's a no manager. Anomaly. Craig Bellamy in the dugout. Crazy. That is crazy. Shut up, Craig. Shut up, Craig oh, Bellamy. I ain't heard of that Can guy's name in a decade. Go. Any 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 other manager gets sucks. Any other manager gets doesn't yeah, even make it all. Guaranteed. Oh, wow. Obviously, Brian, Brian joined us because obviously he heard us talk about Chelsea. Brian, your thoughts? Is he there? <laughs> there you go. He's there, bro. My yeah, bad. Bro, 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 I'll ask you a question. Go on. Uh, what, what are we talking about? Chelsea. Um, we talk, we're talking about Chelsea. Man? We're talking about the Burnley game. We're what talking we about how... Um, okay, my because my question was this if Poch wins the FA Cup, I think he's personally going to stay at least for the start of the sec- next season. And do you could you see that? Is that mute or something? I, don't know. I mean, that's a, we, we're not winning. No, 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 I'm saying no, I'm, I'm not saying you're gonna win. It. I'm saying if he wins the FA Cup, he's I, you, yeah, you, I, you interrupted me, I wasn't finished answering your question. But you take you took forever, bro. You you, you sound like you're lagging. He's got right a delay. Now. He's got a delay. Oh, you got a delay. Fair enough. Because I was like, no, I, no, I, you should let me finish answering the question. Uh, I, I, I okay. I um, we're not going to win the FA Cup, so I think like it's a pointless discussion to have. But if you want to have it, uh, yeah. I, I do. I think they are stupid enough to keep him if we win the FA Cup and get into is that Conference League? I think. Yeah, they are stupid enough to keep them. Yeah, mm. I agree. See, oh, but this is and the that's the worrying thing. thing because right yeah. now, at least this summer, they there are, at least in my opinion, there are quality managers available, and I don't think that will happen again for a while. The likes of, uh, like the likes of Amarin, um. Like, like now, Guzman, Spalletti, possibly Inzaghi. These managers won't be quality managers, won't be available for a long while. And it's very clear that these guys are not able to pick out a quality manager. So, like, we had Ange, possibly, because we looked at him and they decided to go with Poch. So, even if we do get rid of Poch, I am skeptical they will get the right guy to come in. So I don't know, man. I don't. It's, it doesn't. It's a, it's redundant. We're not winning this FA Cup. I don't see how we win it. Okay, so we're not winning. This if, there, if, there, if there's okay, okay. Let's say if for argument's sake, um, for arg- for the argument's sake, if um, if Poch gets sacked at the end of the season, but Chelsea don't hire a convincing manager, other than big, are the red flags going from not other flags going from orange to like? Super red because it's gonna. It would be the third time, or even maybe the fourth time. It's already though. at red. It's just I have to. No, I have to go you. and risk no. it again with this lot. Right. Bro, mm. the the it's like it's already the the red flags are already there, but like the red flags are already there. But I'm trying to say, you know what? She's she'll change this time. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do that. She'll change this time. <laughs> 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 Okay, but Prime, if you say you say that, well, you say that because you know, let you 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 you guys can generally not fuck up the next manager appointment. And I think Loki, you would. Yeah, you Loki, said that last. Yeah, year. I don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I were a Chelsea fan, I would have no optimism about them finding the next manager. None. Yeah, because of the, because of, because of that, what they've done. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, they're bombing the work. If I if I'm Chelsea. a mechanic, you know what me. Me. The thing is, right? We're not, we're not no. doing what United. Hey, United we're not doing are what good. United are doing. We're not linked with like a Southgate or whatever, right? Like flawless can be worried about that. For me. We're not linked with any bums, but yeah, I'm still worried they'll make the wrong choice. Yeah, for no reason, but like there's genuine reason to be worried. You know yeah, what I mean? 
there, there's no way you could, you could make the, the manager appointment fucked up four times in a row. No way. The fact of three times. I think they can. Definitely. I think they can. I think they easily can. No, no. This is their third appointment. No, no. This is their third appointment. Like sacking Potter, the next guy will be their third appointment. Frank doesn't count as an interim. Sure, yeah. Interns don't count as managers. I think they can easily so, fuck it up. I know, and that's what I'm worried about. There's quality managers out there. Just pick one. Mm. Yes, and there are managers that the only is, I know about. And the thing is, and the thing is, I don't think they know what they want. What is Chelsea's philosophy? What is our style of play supposed to be? Because Last year's shortlist, when we're linked with Ange, Enrique, Nal Guzman, Poch, uh, that fat head company, they all have different styles. None of them made sense not on a shortlist. And that's what worries me, that they're just picking out names instead of looking at a philosophy. And let me let me ask this last question here before obviously getting close to close and all. Um, so every, this is for every Chelsea fan, which... Would you guys take the Zerbi? Because I do see a lot of Chelsea fans say they would, would, would like the Zerbi. No, he's not my first. I mean, he's not my first choice. Who is your, Prime, who is your first choice? Who is your first choice? Do you want my dream or do you want my my, my realistic first choice? Both. Both. My, my dream is Simeone, but okay. realistically, get me Amarim. Get me okay. Amarim. Do you think Amarim would do a good job? Yes. Wow. Okay, first. Now I tend to agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Right. Bro, he's in the bar is in hell. Yeah, he, 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 he is like <laughs> bar's been in hell for two years. He's brilliant, he's brilliant tactically, and uh he's always improving every season, and he knows how to keep players fit. Mm -hmm. So that can help Bruce Jones. But yeah, give me a moment. But again, even that I'll take Spalletti, I'll take Inzaghi, I'll take um I'll take the Zerbi. Like there's managers out there. Just pick what you want to do and get the right guy. Because I think all this transfer stuff we're doing, I think the right manager fixes the transfer mess we're supposed to be in. But do you think what do I what do I know? Do you think do, do you think the owners look no the style of play they want to play or they're just looking for winning? No, they don't. No, they don't. But Victor, the shortlist we had last uh, last year shows they don't know what they want. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. it doesn't show that. And, and and Marshall saying this about he's definitely staying, but we'll see. But big up to everyone that's locked in. Run up the likes. Been an eventful yes. stream as always. Make sure you hit the share button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. All that good stuff. May don't forget as well. We are available on all audio yeah, platforms, people. All audio platforms: Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud. Make sure you subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. Make sure you subscribe. Oh, subscribe to Strasbourg Steve as well, people. Oh. Never, never, never forget this ever. You know what I'm saying? In life, people, <laughs> make sure you add this message ever. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever forget. And never forget this. So either way, but here so we are. Say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today. Both of them. Wow. All right, big up the panel. I told. I for. Yeah, and it's still frozen <laughs> to this very day. Wow. Wow. Wait, what was the message? No, that clip you... will never ever die. The clip, that was clip the will message. never ever die. The clip was the message. Don't be like Ryan. That's what it is. Don't have a stupid Luigi mustache and you'll be all right. That's but yeah, the one of the lights, hit the subscribe button, all that. Oh, no, on. you put something on the screen. Oh, see, oh, this this is the, one of the greatest tweets of all time. Hold up. Wait, one second. Are you, are you, wait, 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 one second. <laughs> Hold on. If I knocked on your head, it would echo. Kendall was spitting. That is the realest shit ever. Oh my god. That is the, that is the oh my god. Shit. That is the realest shit ever. We will, be, we will be redirecting from here straight over to the gaming channel as well before we do close out. Though, Steve, let them know what you've got coming up, where they can find you, all that good stuff. Yeah, people. So I'm doing pretty much an all nighter tomorrow because I got work. In an hour, I get out of work. I'm doing Serie A watch along at 9 a.m. my time. So, Swolo, Udinese, Leche Roma at 12 p.m., and then Villarreal, Atletico Madrid. Sleep for four hours and go to work. So, I'm doing an all-nighter technically tonight, okay. tomorrow, whatever the fuck it is, for some watch-alongs on my channel. That's what, that's what I got coming up. Is. Yo, so Lewis, let know what you got coming up, all that good stuff. I got Shameless tomorrow. And I'll be there. Stream. 
and yeah, they're just trying to pick up the remnants of my sanity before we go ruin it again on Thursday. Up the trails, pot trout. You'll win. You'll win. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. No way. That's a that with hella confidence, you know. We, we play Man United, right? Yeah, we just we just haven't beaten them in the league since 2017. If, if a game ever if a game ever stank of a draw is that one. That's not gonna be no, a draw. That's what the game at Old Trafford was supposed to be. I mean, it's not gonna be a draw. No, it wasn't. It's no, it, it wasn't. It was supposed to be. Really? I, I thought it was yeah, gonna yeah. be a draw. I, I said we, I, t- I said we'd win that game because we were better than them. Because at that point, it was Chelsea fans trying to tell me they're better than United. It's like, no, we we are terrible, but so, you are worse. So, 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 so you're still better. I didn't than believe us. it until we yeah, played Yeah, I, I, I no, don't get it mistaken. If it was at OT, I'd be more confident. But it's the traveling away. It's because it's at the bridge. Yeah, yeah that's but, why. What, I think what do Chelsea you mean about the bridge? What does the bridge mean? Is that the bridge means means draw. That's what it means. It means draw. It's somewhere we it's somewhere we it's somewhere we don't travel well to either. We don't travel well. What do you mean? What does the bridge mean? We're going to the red light district, bro. We're going to the red light district. It's fine. I said you don't travel well there. You haven't lost there since 2017. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. We don't win there, but we don't win there a lot. Exactly. That's not good. I think I think in my lifetime that's the ground I've seen the least amount of years. Your last win. I think that even to be honest, we're only winning in the Oli era. Yeah, the only don't get mistaken, there was like during Fergie's era where I hated going to the bridge. I'm like, we just never win there. We were like 12 years, 13 years. I think until Van Persie. Flawless. Flawless. When I tell people, when people tell me you know, City haven't beaten us, and I tell them we haven't beaten them either, it's all of a sudden I'm wrong in the city thing. But you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. What do you mean? That's why what I think it'll be a draw, but go on. What, 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 what do you mean with the bridge is not update anymore? What, what do you mean by that? It's 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 I'm sorry, it's just for me, it's just funny because the, they might actually go back to back seasons mid table. Like, even Arsenal wasn't that bad under Arteta. Hey, let me know in the chat, people. Did Jacob just raid? That's what I was waiting on. Let me know if United Spurs in America just raided. Yeah. Let me know. Yeah, you know, what, cool. you know what? We haven't done that. Arsenal have been 20th at any point. Yeah, that's, true. that's true. That's true. We, we will be. We will be next season, Lewis. Don't worry. Uh, oh, by the way, that Chelsea, that Chelsea Burnley game, uh, two Irish players scored against us. So let's hey, go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, 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 Prime, you leave it with Tom. Great. 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 Nah, but they, they, couldn't, they couldn't score against uh, right, Belgium and Switzerland. Uh, Shout out to No one gives a shit. Anyway, all right, we 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 gonna close out. Anyway. We're going live to the. We, we're going live to the Sarcasm City TV gaming YouTube Pro Clubs, people. So hit the like button as soon as you land. Make sure you subscribe. Big up Jacob, United Spurs America for the raid. Big up Casually FC. Shout out to Rants and Troops. We're both in the chat. Legends. Big up Eli. I see you. All of the mods, all of the regulars, all the members, all the new people have already updated the live stream schedule already. We're currently live on the playback. Fats is on two streams. I don't know what he's doing, but it's Fats. I think he's there. I don't know if he is or he isn't, but there's a game yeah, going hey, on. I'm doing, I'm doing it. Okay, next, next, next. Oh, seeing because I clicked all, also, so I didn't know if he was on there. We all saw that tweet you made. We all saw that tweet you made, Fats. Fats is I a know. joke, man. But yeah, big up, man. It's it's all good, man. No no stress, Eli, man. It's good to see you in, in the chat. But yeah, like I said, people, we're going over to the gaming channel. If you want the basketball watch along, go over to the playback, playback.tv slash sarcasm TV or download the app. I'll drop the link in the chat. As well in a second, literally just gonna send you lot over to the gaming channel though. Bear with me, people. We always stay working here at Sarcasm City TV. Tomorrow we got coming up fan calling show. Fan calling show tomorrow, people. We have that coming up. Um, talk your ish. That's 4 30 p.m. UK time. And then following that, I'll run clubs on here. And Lewis already mentioned it in regards to um shameless fc at 7 p.m as well a well, big up to everyone thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this man thoroughly enjoyed this show and people for as even if you're feeling bad you know what i'm saying you something went wrong in your life at least this never happened in front of the way can i just are. say the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10s today both of them all right, all right big up the panel i told as for <laughs> <laughs>
So that note, people, is with the sarcasm of Steve Fox Q&A. Wow. Yeah, go on, Prime. Go on. Do you know what's so bad about that, Cliff? <laughs> go on. When go this on. channel will reach its own million, there'll be a million people watching that. Oh, facts. Wow. Hey, 16, 16 so. years from so. now, I'll be, don't worry about this, Six, 16 months from now. See what I'm saying? 16 years and 10 days from now. Oh, I will be playing a clip. Don't worry about that. We running this forever, forever, ever. Yeah, man. 16 months, 10 days. 16 years and 10 months. Oh, we running that clip. Shout out, Ryan, man. Could happen to I told you, 16, 16 seconds and 10 milliseconds. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16 of October. The best thing about it is the stupid face when he realizes it bumps. That's the most beautiful part. Of the whole <laughs> no, thing. No, no, and it's also Yan yeah, frozen like a fucking statue. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Yan. She did what she she did the Lord's work. You know what I'm saying? She hey, did Lord, the Lord's work. You know what? You should put that clip in the end of year. Uh, oh yeah, you already know you're ahead of the curve. That's even though it's from three years ago. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely getting an honorable mention. Without that, uh-huh. without that, hundred percent. I'm gonna do a 2024. I'm gonna do a 2024 funniest oh, moment. Yeah. I did one for it's still on the channel. I did one for 2021, I think. So I'm gonna do one for 2024. But love to everyone that's locked in. See you lot on the gaming channel. This has been the Sarcasm City Sports QA live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube. Big up. Watch out.